Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrate God. Celebrate Jesus. You're welcome to our five Wednesdays of breaking family hidden curses. Today is the final day. And today you must live here with a garment of blessings. Lift up your hands. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. For what he has done in the fourth one is this. Today is the fifth one. Father, thank you. Baba Asante. For what you have done already. Thank you for your mercies. Asante kwa thank you for your protection. Asante kwa Thank you for your grace. We cannot thank you enough. You are good. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be glorified. We exalt your holy name. Above every other name. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Lift up your hands above your head. Say by divine authority. I come against every satanic agenda that is working against this service. Let it scatter by fire. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Satanic agendas that are working against this service. Scatter by fire. 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 Sambaratika so pradege pa shata kwa moto reto si pradege de sambaratika kwa moto in jesus name we pray kwa jina la yesu tumeomba you are living this service with the garment of honor and blessings. I say you are living this service with the garment of honor and blessings. Take your Bible. Let's read. Revelation 22 verse 3. And Galatians 3 verse 13. And verse 14. And there shall be no more cares, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servant shall serve him. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law. He made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Kwa Galatia 3, msa wakumna 3 na kumna 4. Kristo alitukomboa katika laana ya Torati kwa kuwa alifanywa laana kwa jili yetu. Mana imeandikwa, amelaniwa kila mtu angikuwa ya juu ya mti, msa wakumna 4. Ili kuamba baraka Ibrahimu wafikilia mataifa katika Yesu Kristo tupate kupokea hadi ya roho kwa njia ya imani. Colossians 2.14 Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to his cross kwa kolosai 2 mstari wa 14 akisha kuifuta ile hati iliyoandikwa ya kutushtaki kwa hukumu zake iliyokuwa na uadui kwetu akaiondoa isiwepo tena akaigongomea msalabani father thank you baba asante for reading all Reading your word. Take all the glory. Let every curse. 
both hidden and known, be knelt on the cross. In this season of Easter, in this season, we engage the power of the cross against every curse upon our life because he was cursed for us to be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are in the season where the power of the cross speak louder. There are times and seasons in Galatians where we just read verse 3 he said Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law be made a curse for us. For it is written, curse be, cursed is everyone that is hanged on the tree. So he blotted out the handwriting that was made against us, that was contrary to us. And he nailed the curse on the tree. Before we start praying, let me show you different kinds of curses. You may have your seat as we move very, very fast. Very, very fast. I thank God that you were able to navigate the rain because the rain was to distract you so that you miss this blessing. But thank God that the rain could not hold you captive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number one kind of curse is a curse that comes through ignorance. A curse that came through ignorance. The Bible says my people perish. Hosea 4, 6. My people perish. The word perish is curse. My people are destroyed. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. As simple as that. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being priest for me. Because you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Unknown curse or hidden curse is unknown curse. That you don't know does not mean it cannot affect you. Are you hearing me? Jericho Yeriko. was a good land. Everything was in Jericho. But there was a curse that was placed by Joshua the priest until someone who had the knowledge of the curse came and revoked it. The curse would have lasted as many years as it would have lasted. So, ignorance is a curse. Are you with me? That you don't know does not mean the curse cannot affect you. The longer the curse stays, or the longer you remain ignorant of the curse, the longer the curse will last. But from today, whether you are aware of it or not, by the power of the cross, we nail that curse. We blot it out by the blood of Jesus. Number two kind of curse. The curse that comes through pronouncement from authority. From authority figures. Yes. Authority figures are those 
who God has placed over you to lead you you to lead you or to champion the cause of your life in one respect or the other examples are one parent yes they have authority over you they can curse you you are teachers yes your spiritual leaders like pastor, prophet and husband yes can place a curse on you. However, before the curse could be effective the authority and cause of the curse must be legitimate and justified. Before the case will work, there must be a reason why the case must work. Case cannot come without a reason. Whether I be a pastor or a prophet, you must do something that will attract the curse. Otherwise, no matter how you shout it, it will not work. Whoever that rises and says, I curse you, without a reason, it will not work. That is proverb. 26 verse 2 as they bed by wandering as they swallow by flying so the curse curseless shall not come mithali 26 verse 2 kama shomoro katika kutanga tanga kwake na kama mbayu wayo katika puruka kwake kadhali kalaana isio na sababu haimpigi mtu yes a curse without a cause cannot function. Leviticus 20 verse 9. Leviticus 20 verse 9. For everyone that cursed his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He had cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. Mambo yalao 20 mstari wa 9 kwa maana kila mtu amlaanie baba yake au mama yake hakika atauawa amemlaani baba yake na mama yake damu yake itakuwa juu yake What is necessary mean is anyone Hiyo lazima inamaanisha yoyote anyone that is disobeying his parents yoyote ambaye anawakosea heshima wa wake anaweza kuvutia laana This language here was the law of Moses Hii lugha hapo ilikuwa ni ile sheria ya Musa But generally lakini kiujumla what is saying when you disobey your parent you can be cursed Anachosema ni kwamba ukiwakosea heshima wa wazazi wako unaweza kulaaniwa When you disobey higher authority you can be cursed Usipotii mamlaka ya juu yako unaweza kulaaniwa That is why the bible said in Ephesians 6 Tuma Biblia inasema kwenye Waefeso 6 Obey your parent Watii wazazi wako Obey your father and your mother Mtii baba yako na mama yako so that your days will be long Ili uwe na siku nyingi maishani Any disobedient Ukosa utiko kote can kule cut short your day are you with me? Both your spiritual parent and your biological parent. Sometimes it can be foster parent. Can be your adopted father or adopted mother. There are people who are playing roles of father and mother in your life. They are not necessarily your biological mother or your father but so far they've taken that responsibility to be there for you they are higher authority over you you must obey them Lazima uwati. at all costs that is why you have to be very careful whether your mother is good or bad as a matter of fact, God didn't make a mistake by making her your mother. You must be careful on how you talk to them. On how you talk to your father. Don't feel that you have mouth to 
to say whatever you want to say. You can destroy your destiny within a second. There are people who are stubborn. They feel like they can shout anyhow, they can talk anyhow. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Unanisikia. So be very careful. Kwa makini sana. Your parent can provoke you. Mzazi wako anaweza kukasirisha kuchokoza. Yes. Ndio. That doesn't mean you can talk to them anyhow. Haimaanishi unaweza kuwaongelesha tu vyovyote vile. Whether they are good, iwe ni watu wema, they are still your parents. Ni wazazi wako bado. Whether he or she is a witch or wizard. Awe ni mchawi wa kike au wa kiume. He is still your parent. Bado ni mzazi wako. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia. Don't go to be shouting on his you are a witch, you are this, you are that. Pray for him or her. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Because one word can delay your destiny. Curse is very powerful. Curse is very powerful. It's one of the strongest weapons the devil uses to put the children of God in bondage. Are you with me? Very, very important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three. Number tatu. Curse can come directly from God. Directly from God. Curse can come directly from God. This is what is referred to as the curse of the Lord. It comes as a result of breaking God's law. When a man is guilty of breaking God's law, he is living in disobedience. And this attracts penalty from God. And also when you oppress the poor, when you oppress the poor as well as the innocent there are people who take pleasure in oppressing people innocent people the poor Judges 9 56 to 57 Judges 9, 56 to 57. Thus God rendered the wickedness of Abimelech, which he did unto his father, in slaying his 70 brethren. Verse 57. And all the evil of the men of Shechem did, did God render upon their head, and upon them came the curse of Jotan, the son of Jerubah. Wamusi tisa mstari um, sina sita na msina saba. Basi hivyo mungu akalipiza kisasi juu ya uovu wa bimileki. Alio mtenda baba yake. Katika kuwa uo hao nduguze watu sabini. Mstari um, arbena saba. Uovu wote wa watu wa shekemu. Mungu alipiza juu ya bichofi yao. Na hiyo laana ya yotamu muano wa yerubali. Ikawajilia juu yao. Proverb 22, 22 and 23. Mithali shinambili shinambili na shinatatu. Proverb 22, 22 and 23. Mithali shinambili shinambili Rob not the poor. Because he is poor. Neither oppress the afflicted in the gates. Verse 23. For the Lord will plead their cause. And spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Mithali shinambili msa shinambili na shinatatu. Usimnyanganye maskini kwa kwa ni maskini. Wala usimdolumu mtu mnyonge langoni. Msa shinatatu. Kwa sahabu wana atawatetea. Na ya atawateka uhai wawo wali wateka. There are people who are good in oppressing people. Kuna watu ambako vizuri kwenye kwaonea watu. Oppression may not be that you... You fight them or slap them. It may be how you treat people. Because you know they don't have influence like you. You take advantage of them. It may be how you talk to them. You make them, you make them reject themselves. Instead of being an encouragement. Being their hope. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you. We rise by lifting one another. So when you oppress the poor. You are attracting a curse. Upon your life. 
Number four. Number nine. Through inheritance. Kupitia urithi. Curses can come through inheritance. Lana nesa kujio kupitia urithi. Blessings and curses flow in the bloodline from one generation to the other. Baraka na lana zina tirika kwenye kizazi kimoja paka kingine. And they are hereditary. Na inarithiwa. They are hereditary. Zina rithiwa. There are certain persons that are. Are victims of inherited curses. When curses are transferred via bloodline, we say it is a genealogical inheritance. Remember the seven brothers the first married a wife and died without having children the second the same all the seven brothers died in a like manner that was a bloodline curse Hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus. Jesus. Praise Lord Jesus. I pray for you. Every inherited curse that is operating in your life. Let it be revoked permanently. 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 Remember Akan in the Bible that stole what the Lord said they should not take in the battlefield. The wife and the children were not part of that conspiracy and action. But guess what? They suffered the same curse. When one person Ntumoja, attract a curse in the family, it can affect the whole family and the clan. I remember Nakumbuka, there was this case na of a family. Ya familia, there were like, I remember there were about six brothers. Nakumbuka, some of them are 40, 40 something. 39. None of them were married. Until they came for prayer. It was discovered supernaturally that their father had sacrificed children to their community idols. And one of the child declared that none of them or his children will get married. And let a lot of having children. Now, the brothers, the family were not aware. But they were suffering. Until immediately the curse was discovered and revoked. The case was detected and revoked. Within six months, all of them got married. Six months. So, the case kept them in prison. And immediately the case was broken. All of them were free. It was like, ah, what happened to me? I am not married. Let me collect a wife. All of them. Are you hearing me? This evening, I prophesy every curse holding you. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Shout the loudest amen. So the curse were holding them back. But immediately the curse was broken. All of them ran to meet their destiny. That is why within short period of that, all of them got married. Because they knew they are supposed to have married. They are supposed to have been there. But they were still here. After the service, all the things that have not been happening, good things that have not been happening 
happening in your life. Vitu vyote vizuri ambavyo vimekuwa vitokei maishani mwako. You begin to see them in the name of Jesus. Utaanza kuviona kwa jina la Yesu. Number 5. Number 5. Self imposed curse. Laana ya kujisababishia mwenyewe. Self imposed curse. Laana ya kujisababishia mwenyewe. Can be true pronouncements. Naweza kupitia ikuwa kupitia matamko. Vows. Kupitia nadhiri. And pledges. Na ahadi. Can be true pronouncement. Naweza kuwa kupitia matamko. Vow. Nadhiri. And pledges. Na ahadi. Now Self imposed curses are curses you placed upon yourself. Salana za kujisababishia ni laana ambazo unakuwa umejiwekea wewe mwenyewe. It can be through your action. Naweza kuwa kupitia matendo yako. What you did. Ulichokifanya. For example, kwa mfano, if you steal, ukiiba, there is a curse upon a thief. Kuna laana iliyo juu ya mwizi. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? There is a curse upon a, Kuna a thief. Kuna laana juu ya mwizi. If you broke the law of God, ukivunja sheria ya Mungu, there is a curse upon it. Kuna laana juu yako. If you make negative pronouncement against yourself, ukisema matamko hasi kuhusiana na wewe mwenyewe, curses can come through negative pronouncement. Laana zinaweza kuja kupitia matamko hasi. That's why you should be economical with your word. Ndio maana unatakiwa uwe makini na maneno yako. No matter how provoke if you may be ajalisho umechokozwa kiasi gani learn to speak positively jifunze kuzungumza vitu chanya instead of negatively badala vitu hasi even though it might look you should pronounce that negative word japokuwa inaweza ikaonekana unatakiwa utamke neno hasi learn to withdraw it jifunze kulishikilia because every word kwa sababu kila neno acid in the spirit ni mbegu rohoni that is why growing up ndomani kiwa nakuwa one of the faithful word i was taught moja neno la muhimu nilofundishwa is how to learn to say i can even when it looks like i can't kusema naweza hata ikionekana kama siwezi i can naweza i can do spirit naweza i can do it naweza nikafanya even when it look like i can't do it hata ikionekana kama siwezi kufanya i should confess that i can natakiwa nikiri kwamba naweza i can kwamba naweza because that is a spirit that will be following me kwa sababu hiyo ndio roho itakayokuwa inanifuatilia confessing i can't do it i can't do it lakini ukikiri kwamba siwezi kufanya siwezi kufanya that is the altar you are you are laying in your heart and your spirit hiyo ndio madhabahu unaweka moyoni mwako na rohoni mwako that is the seed you are sowing ndio mbegu unayopanda learn to confess positively about your life jifunze kukiri uchanya kuhusiana na maisha yako are you with me uko na mimi Let's go to Genesis 27. Twende kwenye mwanzo 27. Verse 12 to 13. Msayo 12:13. We'll also read Ecclesiastic 5 verse 4 to 6. You say my father paraventure will fill me and I shall seem to him as a deceiver and I shall bring a curse upon me and not a blessing. Verse 13. And his mother said unto him upon me thy curse my son only obey my voice and go fetch me them Mwanzo 27:12 na 13 Labda baba yangu atanipapasa nami nitakuwa machoni pake kama mdanganyifu nami nitaleta juu yangu laana wala si mbaraka mstari 13 Mama akamwambia laana yako na iwe juu yangu mwanangu usikie sauti yangu tu Enenda ukaniletee wanambuzi. This was Rebecca. Huyo alikuwa ni Rebecca. Talking to Jacob. Anaongea na Yakobo. When she told Jacob, alipomwambia Yakobo to go and kill a lamb. Aende akachinje kondoo. And prepare na a meal for the father. Mlo kwa ajili ya baba yake. And go and pretend to be Esau. Naende akajifanya kwamba yeye ndio Esau. Then the son asked If my father feel me discover that it is me. Baba yangu akinigusa akagundua kwamba ni mimi. Won't he curse me? Je hata ni laani? Then the mother say let the curse be upon me. Mama yake akasema acha hiyo laana iwe juu yangu. Don't allow yourself. Sijiruhusu to move into that spirit where you say eh, whatever it will be let it be. Kuingia kwenye hiyo roho ya kusema chochote kitakachokuwa na kiwe. Where you see there is a negative 
Are you hearing me? A negative occurrence that will come. Have you ever seen, hear people say, whatever it will be, let it be. And you know that what you are about to do is wrong. It will bring a curse. Are you with me? Don't be ignorant of words. I've seen a father who said who argued that the daughter will not marry certain tribe. Out of anger, he said, I will not be alive to see my daughter marry this tribe. And of a truth, he died before the, the daughter got married. Have you ever heard such a thing? Out of anger. A mother can say, ah, I will not be alive to see my daughter marry this kind of tribe. No, 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 no. I can't be alive to To him. He's trying to express his anger. And not knowing that he's already prophesying about his death. Be very careful. You hear people say, over my dead body. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. You, are, you will kill yourself. Over my dead body. So, your dead body will be there. Things will be happening. And over your dead body. You say, over my dead body. Over. So, the thing will be happening. Your Hosho dead body will be there. Most of you have been a victim of that. Over when my dead body. Over my dead body. I was mad. Over my dead body. Say the truth. Have you ever used the word over my dead body? Say the truth now. The truth. If, if you have ever been mad, angry, you are shouting over my dead body. Over my dead body. Say it. Say it. Because that is what we say to you free. When we start praying now, you will know how to channel your prayer. By God's mercy, I delete that word. Hear this. It may not be that you will die physically. It may be that everything that is good will die. Words are powerful. Let's go to Ecclesiastics. Let's go to Ecclesiastics. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let all that child a naughty head. Don't call the child a block head. You already causing the head. You are knocking the head. You block head. You don't remember him. You block head. This is your big head. You can't remember anything. You are cursing that you are adding more problems. Are you getting what I'm saying? Bless the child every morning. Pray for the child. Tuko pamoja. Are we together? Ecclesiastics. Mobiri. Tuko pamoja. Are we together? Uh -huh. Chapter 5, 4 and 6. Sura ya 5 na 6. When thou vowest a vow unto God, differ not to pay it, for he had no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Verse 5. Suffer not thy mouth. Ah. Better is it that thou should not vow, that thou shouldest vow and not pay it. Verse 6. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore, should God be angry at the, thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands? <laughs> Wewe ukimwekea Mungu nadhiri usikawie kuiondoa kwa kuwa yeye hawi radhi na wapumbavu basi uiondoe hiyo uliyoiweka nadhiri mstari wa ni afadhali usiweke nadhiri kuliko kuiweka usiiondoe mstari wa 6 usikiache kinywa chako kuukosesha mwili wako wala usiseme mbele ya huyo malaika kwamba umepitiliwa kwani Mungu akukasirikia sauti yako na kuiharibu kazi ya mikono yako Hear this. Scary. A lot of you in the church have made different vows. Pledges. And you never fulfill it. That is, a, it brings a curse. You hear it there, not me. You better have to go back. 
Write all the pledges you have been making in the church. And start redeeming it. Because this one brings curse upon you. Some of you, you are in prayer crying. Lord, I will do this, I will do that, I will do that. When you do this and this and that. Now God has done it. Have you done anyone? It could be the reason why many things have scattered. It could be, it be the reason why God is silence, silent in your case. Because the one you promised to do, you didn't do it. Are you with me? So, when you make pledges, vows, whether personally at home, in your prayer altar, Make sure you fulfill it. In the church. Make sure you fulfill it. Otherwise. Otherwise. You are keeping curses for your children. Children to inherit. Yes. The Bible said, when Abraham paid tithe to Melchizedek, Isaac also paid tithe. But Isaac was still in his loins. Isaac was not born. So Isaac paid tithe. In other words, he got share of the blessing. In other words, if Abraham had done something wrong before the Lord, Isaac would have also shared from the curse. The same thing, if you do something wrong, your children and your children, children, children may suffer it if you don't address it now. The family curses that we are breaking today is as a result of wrong actions of our parents grandparents great grandparents from our father and our mother's side but I pray for mercy I pray for mercy whatever hidden curse unknown curse that is operating from your father's side your mother's side let it be revoked in the name of Jesus I revoke it in the name of Jesus I revoke it in the name of Jesus which number are we? Tuko na bangapi? Six. Sita. Through demonic worship and evil dedication. Kupitia wekaji wakfu muovu na kuabudu mapepo. Through demonic worship and evil dedication. Kupitia wekaji wakfu muovu na kuabudu mapepo. To strange gods. Kwa miungu ya ajabu. Through demonic worship. Kupitia kuabudu kwa kipepo. And evil dedication. Na wekaji wakfu muovu. To strange gods. Kwa miungu ya ajabu. Curses can come through demonic worship and even dedication to strange gods. Every time you depart from the living God who created you and then attach yourself to another God or a lesser God, a curse of retrogression and Destiny reverses follows you. You naturally start backpedaling in your life generally as a consequence. Isaiah 42 verse 17. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images. That say to the molten images, You are our gods. Isaiah by Nabilim Sakuna Saba, what a redisha numa, what I bishwa sana, how now to my near Sanam Zamawe, Nakuziambia Sanam Zamadini, Ninin Dini Munguetu. To trust in images or idols that cannot help you is a very easy way to cut off divine support and render your life helpless. Kwa murta swira au mizimu wabaya wezi kusaidia ninja laisi sana ya kuondolo utegemezwaji wa kiungu na kufanya maisha yako ya kose msaada. The Bible said, they that worship that graven image that has hand but cannot handle as 
Iye but cannot hear. Zenye masikio lakini hazisiki. Has eyes but cannot see. Zina macho lakini hazioni. Has leg but cannot walk. Zina miguu lakini hazitembei. I like them. Ni kama wao. Those who worship it are like that idol. Wale wanaoviabudu ni kama hiyo mizimu. Having leg cannot walk means you never progress. Kwa na miguu lakini hawezi kutembea maana yake hautaendelea kama. Having eyes but cannot see means you will never see your greatness and your future. Kwa na macho lakini uone maana yake hautaona ukuu wako au kesho yako. Having hands but cannot handle means you will never handle anything good. Kwa na mikono lakini uweze kushika maana yake uweze kushika chochote kizuri. Having mouth but cannot speak. Kwa na mdomo lakini uweze kuongea. Meaning everything good in your life will remain silent. Ina maanisha kila kitu kizuri maishani mwako kitabaki kimya. If you came from a family, whether your parent, your great grandparent, your great grandparent, worshipped idol, you have a curse to break. And today, by the power of the cross, this week is the week of the cross. I prophesy by mercy. Let the curses be broken. Number seven. Number seven. Curses can come through the shedding of innocent blood. It can come through the shedding of innocent blood. It can come through the shedding of innocent blood. I've just shared the story of how a father used children to sacrifice to community gods. And one of the child placed the curse upon the man family. That none of the children will even get married. And it came to pass. Let's go to Exodus 23 verse 7. Exodus 23 verse 7. Keep thee far from a false matter and the innocent and righteous slay thou not for I will not justify the wicked. Deuteronomy 27.25 Curse be he that taketh reward to slay an innocent person, and all the people shall say, Amen. Hallelujah. If you come from a family where people were involved in killing twins in the olden days or there was a communal crisis or clashes where, where people died such community need cleansing are you hearing me or some communities or families that were involved in killing missionaries in the olden days such community will hardly see development I'm telling you the reality and I pray for mercy in your community in your family in Jesus name Sound engineer, can you do better? This sound is not good. Are you there? Number what? Number eight. Number nine. When you do the work of God deceptively. When you do the work of God deceptively. You attract the curse of the Lord. Let's go to Jeremiah 48 verse 10. Curse be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitful. And curse be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. When you do the work of God deceitfully, you deceive people. Claiming to be what you are not is a big curse. 
is a big curse. Maybe you are working in the church. You are pretending to be a worker. And you are deceiving people. Maybe the church wants to buy something. You add your own money inside. You increase the price to get your own thing. You are attracting a generational curse. You are stealing church money. Church offering. 500 shillings, you pick it. You come to pick offering on the altar. You swindle some. Nobody is looking at them. Put it at the, at the space between your two fingers. Nobody will see. Things are happening. Things are happening. Mambo yanatokea. Mambo yanatokea. Things are happening. Mambo yanatokea. Things are happening. And you think you are smart. You can't steal from God. Kabisa. Completely. You can't steal from God and run away. You can't steal from God and run away. You are stealing from a dangerous man. Are you with me? God is dangerous. You have to be careful. Hallelujah. 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 Number nine. Suffering, rejection, or being cursed from the womb. Put it being cursed from the womb. Act 3, verse 2. And Deuteronomy 23, verse 2. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arm of them that enter into the temple. Matendo ya tume tatu msa wapili. Na mtu moja aliyekuwa kiwete toka tumboni mwa mamae. Alichukuliwa na watu. Ambaye walimweka kila siku katika mlangu wa ekalo uituwa umzuri. Ili ya umbe sadaka kwa watu wa ingia ondani ya ekalo. Let me tell you. Before I start explaining this number nine. Let me tell you. When God put you around the anointed or you are working in the church. It's a privilege. Just being around that anointing is an honor that will be opening doors of blessing upon your life. I remember back in the days I gave somebody a project. And the person stole my money. And I saw it. And I didn't tell the person I saw it. What I did was. I told him thank you. For the one you have done. And I now handed over the project to another person. And I tell you something. That money took that man from where he was to square one. Everything scattered. I wasn't holding it against him. But if you steal from a man of God, you are stealing from God. Because the man of God is a property of God. Are you with me? If you steal from me, you are stealing from God. Because I have sacrificed my life to God. So everything that is connected to me belong to God. Are you with me? That is why I can't make decision on my own. I have to consult God. Are you with me? I don't have power of my own. So anything you steal from me, you have stealing from him. And we come, he will come by himself for what belongs to him. That's why you have to be careful. Being around anointing is a blessing. It's the blessing you need. Are you with me? Because you can't enter inside the pool without being wet. Yeah. 
the pool. The anointing will be all around you. And the person I handed over the project is still working with me today. Is flourishing in his career. Everything is going well. Are you with me? Because he honors the anointing and respects the anointing. Because God is rewarding him. Let me tell you, Matthew 6 33 is very powerful. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yeah, that is my word. That is where I live. Do the right thing. Follow, hand over everything to him. And all these things you are struggling. There are people who don't struggle to do things. Because they do the right thing and the right blessing follow them. When God tells you do something, it's a privilege. Many, there are many that would have done it better than you and received that blessing. But God now chooses you. Don't abuse it. Because God can change you. God can put another person. Yes. God removed Saul and put David. Yes. That is why he said, you have rejected my word and I have also rejected you. He was actually talking to Saul. Because disobedient is like a sin of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for the grace of obedience to rest upon you. That you will not abuse God's privilege in the name of Jesus. You will not abuse God's privilege in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number 10. Cause can come through dreams. Many hidden curses come through evil pronouncement made upon the victim in the dream. Yes. Many has dreamt ah, you will be sick. Somebody is telling them you will be sick. And they wake up they are sick. I'm telling you. Many have dreamt and here ah, you will never have children. And they wake up not remembering to count it. Or you are hearing a voice. Somebody is cursing you in the dream. You are hearing a voice but you don't see the face. When you wake up, count it. Are you hearing me? Go into fasting. For that day, count it. Because when you fast, from the, from morning till 12 p.m. Even to 1 p.m. or to 3 p.m. It, is, it, it gives you more power in the spirit to counter what the enemy has planned. Yes. Yes. When you dream and people are chasing you in the dream or throwing things at you, it's a sign they've cursed you. That person has cursed your life. Somebody, you may be a familiar face or somebody you don't know. may be throwing an arrow or a stone or something. It's a sign the person has cursed you. How many of you have ever had a dream? Somebody is chasing you. It may be a familiar face or somebody you don't know. Or they are throwing things at you. Or they are pointing at you. You, 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 you. Begin to pray and counter whatever the person has done against you. I'm teaching you mysteries. Because spiritually, if the person is pointing at you, that, those are words. Negative words of warning. It may be that you are praying and fasting. They see that you are about to break out of the curse. They will come start warning you. Pray against whatever the person has done against you. 
Are you learning something? Unajifunza kitu. Or somebody you start fighting in the dream. Au mtu unaanza kupigana naye kwenye ndoto. Or the person bite you. Au mtu anakung'ata. It may be like a cat biting you. Inaweza kuwa kama paka anakung'ata. Is a curse. Ni laana. Or a dog. Au mbwa. Is a is a sign that somebody it may be a witch or wizard have cursed you. Inshallah kwamba inaweza kuwa mchoyo wa kike au wa kiume ambaye amekulaani. Are you getting understanding? Unapata uelewa. But curse be upon a man that is hanged on the tree. Lakini alilaaniwa yule angekuwa mtini. And he has blotted out. Na ameondoa. The negative handwriting. Ule mwandiko hasi. That was against us. Ule kwa dhidi yetu. And he nailed it on the cross. Na kagongomea msalabani. I pray for you. Na kuombea. By the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. Every curse. Kila laana. Written curse. Laana ile andikwa. Spoken curse. Laana ile tamkwa. Self imposed curse. Laana kujisababishia I revoke it Inaitengua 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 Number 11. Number 11. True curse acquiring a curse property. Kupitia kununua mali ambayo imelaaniwa. Acquiring or inheriting a curse property. Kununua ama kurithi mali ilolaaniwa. <laughs> Kaba hadas. This one a lot of people has bought problem. Hii hapa watu wengi wamenunua ma matatizo, matatizo. Problem. Matatizo. Many people have bought problem. Watu wengi wamenunua matatizo. Especially second hand product. Asa hivi vitu vya mtumba. Be it clothes. Iwe ni nguo. Some you don't know some of the clothes are stolen. Ujui baadhi hizo nguo zimeibiwa. You go to the market you buy those bell the tie. Umeenda sokoni umenunua vile vitu ambavyo wamefunga. Some of the bell are stolen from the wholesaler. Baadhi ya baadhi yao zinakuwa zimeibiwa kutoka kwa wale wauzaji wa jumla. He may not understand. You buy a second hand car. Anything second hand. Anoint it and pray over it. Otherwise you are buying problem. Yes. You are buying problem. Anything second hand. I'm not saying first hand product cannot come with cash but mostly second hand Sisemi kwamba vile vitu ambavyo sio mtumba haviwezi kuja na laana lakini hasa vile vya mtumba ambavyo vishatumika You don't know the one who used it last Ujui nani ametumia Alipataje Tell me Nakwambia If you come from a family uh, uh, maybe your grandfather collected people property or land falsely Kama umechotoka kwenye familia ya babu yako labda alikuwa na dhurumu watu mali Aurdi, and you are not aware of it. There is a curse in the family. Kuna laana kwenye familia. I'm telling. Na kuambia. I'm telling. Na kuambia. People steal property. They steal home appliances. They begin to say sell it in a cheaper price. They say phone, phone. All those phones they say cheap in the market. They are stolen. No. Kuna watu na iba mali, na iba vitu vya nyumbani, na nazo kuzwa kwa beiraisi. Yesa zile simu ambazo na uzia beiraisi na kwa zime ibiwa. Tell you berahis berahis. Phone of one million. They are telling you buy it fifty thousand. Simi a million moja. No kambi anua ko ifam sini. Run for your life. Kimbia wako ima shayako. Do you know what the person so far? Unajua lemtu aliteshe kavipi? Some some people suffer from tooth and nail. Buy something. Kadri ya wezo au kunua kitu. And when it is stolen, they feel pain. They cry. Afiki biwa na skia maumi vwa na liya. You think the tears will not come against you? Unadani yale machozi yata kujia kinyume na wewe. You say it's my money, I but you bought problem. Unasema ni pesa yangu ni menua, umenua matatizo. You bought problem. Umenua matatizo. Before you know it, people will start stealing your own property. Gafu unazwa kuta watu unazwa kuiba vitu vya kuhu. They may start from the farm. Unazwa kanzia shambani. Aya gabada. You say I cultivated in that farmland. They've stolen everything. You say when you live, when you live, shamba saw me iba mazao yote. You open a door by buying something stolen. You may fungo mlango kwa kunua kitu kilicho ibiwa. You'll be wondering, but I I didn't steal the money I used to buy. But what you bought was stolen. Unazaku shanga siku siku iba pesa bonye litumia kununua, lakini kilo choko kununua ndo kilibiwa. 
You may think it's a breakthrough. Oh, phone of 1 million you bought it 50,000. It's not a breakthrough, it's a breakdown. Unaweza kadhani kwamba ni mpenyo simu ya milioni 1 umenunua kwa 50,000 sio mpenyo ni hali ya kuangushwa chini. It's not a breakthrough but a breakdown. Sio mpenyo ni hali ya kuangushwa chini. I'm telling you. Na kwambia. You will regret it. Utajutia. People are going through things. Watu wanapitia vitu. They don't even know what brought what they are going through. Hata hawajui nini kilileta wanachopitia. Some of you what you are going through now is as a result of what I'm telling you now. Baadhi yenu mnachopitia sasa hivi ni kutokana na ninachowaambia sasa hivi. Somebody bring an expensive hair. He said take it, take it, just give me whatever you have. Mtu ameleta nywele ya gharama anakuambia chukua tu nipe chochote ulichonacho. Have you asked him or her where did he buy the shoe? He said take it, take it. Chochote yacho ulinao wapi? Anakuambia tu chukua kama una pesa yoyote hapo nipe. Have you asked the person where did you get it? Umemuuliza umepata wapi? Just tell you take it you can have anything give me. Chukua tu kama una chochote tu nipe. What do you get? 10,000 just give me. Unahitaji shilingi ngapi? 10,000 yaani pe nipe yoyo. You be wondering. Unaanza kushangaa. You be imagine ah nafikiria he. 10,000 for this kind of thing. 10,000 kwa kitu cha namna hii. Run for your life. Kimbia uokoe maisha yako. You are buying problem. Unanua tatizo. Let me tell you there is no free meal anywhere. Kuja nikwambia hakuna mlo wa bure popote pale. Expensive things will cost your pocket. Vitu venye gharama lazima vikugarimu, vigarimu mfuko wako. Good things are expensive. Vitu vizuri vina gharama. Many of you. Wengi <laughs> wenu. Many of you are going through what you don't know. Wengi wenu mnapitia msichokijua. Use your money to buy problem. Unatumia pesa yako kununua tatizo. To buy problem. Kununua tatizo. I pray for mercy. Naombea rehema. I pray for mercy. Naombea rehema. By the blood of Jesus. Kwa damu ya Yesu. Let the curse be revoked. Acha laana itenguliwe. Let the curse be revoked. Acha hiyo laana itenguliwe. Shout the loudest amen. Bila kelele amina kubwa. I am ending already. Namalizia tayari. I'm, 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 I'm finishing up. Namalizia. Are you there? Uko hapo. Deuteronomy 7 verse 26. Kumbukumbu la tuati 7 mstari wa 26. Deuteronomy 7 verse 26. Kumbukumbu la tuati 7 mstari wa 26. Neither shall thy bring on abomination into thy house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it. For it is a cursed thing. Kumbuka na Torati saba msaada shina sita. Na machukizo usiti ndani ya nyumba yako. Usije we kuwa kitu cha haramu mfano wake. Ukichukie kabisa na kukata kabisa. Kwa kuwa ni kitu kilicho harimishwa. I remember. <laughs> When I was in junior secondary school. Nipo kwa shule ya secondary. I used to do different small small business at home. I keep chicken. I keep different things. It was a festive period. I will sell it and have a lot of money. I buy oil. I stock it. I go to the village. I buy a food stuff. I stock it. When the price goes up, I start selling it. So at that time, phone was very expensive. And there is this guy, I came back from school, he said, ah, I came back from the city, I don't have money to go back. Help me, help me with money and take this phone. Very good phone. This phone is good, this phone is good. This phone is good. And I had money. Then I gave him the money and collected the phone. The same guy came back at night and stole the phone. Yule yule kijana kaja usiku akaiba ile simu. My money gone. Pesa yangu ikaenda. No phone. Hakuna simu. I grumbled. I cannot hold him because there is no evidence. It was somebody who sold the phone. When I came to realize the guy has gone. Ask the guy, how did you get this phone? He said, the same guy. Sold him the phone. Another person he had sold the phone before he left. I met the person. How do you get this phone? He went to the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone. I met the same guy that sold me the phone
wakati huu kipindi kingine I had to I had to bite my ear. Ilibidi niwe makini. And learn. Nijifunze. Stand up for your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Did you learn something? Umejifunza kitu? You lie by cheap cheap things. Unapenda vitu vya bei rahisi rahisi. Eh. Preo. Omba. You are buying problem. Unanua tatizo. Your prayer, God have answered my prayer miracle. Sema Mungu amejibu maombi yangu muujiza. It's not a miracle. Huo sio muujiza. It's a breakdown, not a breakthrough. Ni swala la kuangushwa chini sio mpenyo. Lift up your hands. Inua juu mikono yako. Say Lord. Sema Bwana. If I were going to go on our knees. Tunaenda kupiga magoti. And ask for for mercy. Tumombe Mungu rehema. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to Colossians. Turudi wa Colossae. Let's go back to Colossians. He said blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nearly neat to the cross. Kwa Colossae 2 mstari 14 akiisha kuifuta ile hati iliyoandikwa ya kutushtaki kwa hukumu zake iliyokuwa na uadui kwetu akaiondoa isiwepo tena akaigongomea msalabani. So we're going to pray for the blood of Jesus to blot out. Tutaenda kuombea damu ya Yesu ifute. All the cases. Laana zote that we are carrying on our head. Ambazo tunazibeba vichwani mwetu. Acknowledge there is a curse. Tambua kwamba kuna laana. Whether you know it or don't know it. Unaijua ama huijui. But by the power of the cross. Lakini kwa nguvu ya msalaba. It will be blotted out now. Itafutwa sasa hivi. If you can lie down lie down. Kama unaweza kulala chini lala chini. The step to break out of the curse is to repent. Hatua ya kutoka kwenye laana ni kutubu. That is the first step. Hiyo ndio hatua ya kwanza. Be it your mother iwe ni mama yako some of our relative baadhi ya ndugu zetu have done so many things wamefanya vitu vingi that is now affecting our life ambao sasa hivi vinaathiri maisha yetu say lord jesus sema bwana yesu have mercy on me ni rehemu i'm a sinner mimi ni mwenye dhambi from today kuanzia leo i repent from my sins natubu dhambi zangu from the bottom of my heart toka kwenye kilindi cha moyo wangu I repent from my sins. Natubu dhambi zangu. I repent on behalf of my family. Natubu kwa niaba ya familia yangu. On behalf of, of my parents. Kwa niaba ya wazazi wangu. Grandparent. Babu na bibi yangu. Great grandparent. Babu na babu yangu. Whatever they have done. Chochote walichokifanya. That have brought curses. Kilicholeta laana upon our life. Kwenye maisha yetu. Hidden and unknown curse. Laana zilizofichika na tunazozifahamu. Let it be blot out. Acha ifutwe. By your blood. Kwa damu yako. By the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. We nail it on the cross. Tunaigongomea msalabani. By your mercy. Kwa rehema zako. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Fungua kinywa chako omba ombi hilo. For Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law kwa maana kristo ametukomboa kutoka kwenye laana ya sheria kwa maana imeandikwa curse be upon the man that is hanged on the tree amelaniwa yule angekuwa mtini lord mercy e hey, bwana rehema mercy mercy rehema 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 mercy mercy rehema 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 mercy mercy rehema 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 mercy 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 rehema 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 mercy 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 rehema 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 Let the curses be broken. Acheso laana zivunjike. Bloodline curses. Laana za vizazi. Inherited curses. Laana za kurithi. Seven post curses. Laana ya kusababishia. Curse laana from acquired property kutoka kwenye mali ile ununuliwa the one i bought and the one my parent bought ile ununua na ile ambayo wazazi wangu walinunua let the curses be broken acha hizo laana zivunjike zivunjike by your mercy kwa rehema zako let the curses be broken acha hizo laana zivunjike by your mercy kwa rehema zako mercy mercy rehema rehema 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 by the blood of jesus kwa damu ya yesu by the resurrection power kwa nguvu ya ufufuo by the power of the cross kwa nguvu ya msalaba we nail every curse tunagongomea kila laana we nail every curse of Barrenness, tunagongomea kila laana ya utasa poverty umaskini sudden death vifo vya ghafla rising and falling kupanda na kushuka struggle mahangaiko delay kucheleweshwa rejection kukataliwa shame aibu 
diseases maradhi stagnation kukwamishwa disappointment kwaishwa tamaa we nail the cross tunaigongomea msalabani we nail the cross tunaigongomea ila ana on the cross msalabani we nail the cross tunaigongomea ila ana on the cross msalabani we nail the cross tunaigongomea ila ana on the cross msalabani there shall be no more curse hakutakuwa na laana tena and the throne of god and of the lamb na kiti cha enzi na cha mwana kondoo shall be in it watakuwa ndani yake and the servant shall serve him na watumishi wake watamtumikia in jesus name we pray kwa jina la yesu tumeomba amen amina by the power of the cross kwa nguvu ya msalaba both hidden and known curses laana zilizofichika na zinazojulikana has been nailed on the cross in the name of jesus zimegongomewa msalabani kwa jina la yesu stand up on your feet simama kwa miguu and remove your shoe navua viatu vyako as we are going into violent prayers na kuingia kwenye maombi ya nguvu sasa violent prayers maombi ya nguvu the first thing cha kwanza when you are breaking the curse is to repent unapovunja laana ni kutubu to repent kutubu to repent kutubu if there was time i would have given you how to break curses kama kungekuwa na muda ningewatajia namna ya kuvunja laana and release blessing na kuachilia baraka but allow me lakini ruhusuni because of time i don't want to just give you one two three four without explaining kwa sababu ya muda sitaki tu kuwatajia bila kuelezea allow me to give it to you on sunday ruhusuni niwatajie jumapili on sunday second service juma pili baada ya pili yes ndio because we are still on the power of resurrection season kwa sababu bado tuko kwenye msimu wa nguvu ya ufufuo sunday is a resurrection service juma pili ni ibada ya ufufuo are you there uko hapo are you ready to pray uko tayari kuomba are you ready to pray uko tayari kuomba if you are ready shout yes kama uko tayari piga kelele ndio okay Say in the name of Jesus. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Every curse. Kila laana. Moving in the sky. Inayotembea angani. Hold on. Subiri. Have you removed your shoe? Shavua viatu. I have applied the miracle salt. Aya paka hiyo chumvi ya miujiza. For those of you who don't understand what we are doing. Kwa wale msioelewa tunachofanya. It came from 2 King chapter 2 verse 19 to 21 to 22 imetokea ufalme wa pili sura ya pili mstari wa 19 mpaka 22 yes ndio elisha used the salt to break the curse elisha alitumia chumvi kuvunja laana he used the salt to break the curse alitumia chumvi kuvunja laana so that is what we are doing kwa ndo tunachokifanya all of these are ways to break curses zote hizi ni njia za kuvunja laana that is what we are doing ndo tunachokifanya I'm also doing my own. Mimi pia nafanya ya kwangu. Some of you in the church whenever instruction is given this way you don't follow. Baadhi yenu kanisani kila maelekezo yakitolewa namna hii amfuati. If you are watching us online. Kama unatazama mtandaoni especially outside tanzania hasa nje ya tanzania take a salt in your house chukua chumvi iliyopo nyumbani kwako and join us na uungane nasi and every curse in your family na kila laana kwenye familia yenu shall be broken instantly itavunjwa papo hapo say any type of curse sema aina yoyote ya laana flying in the sky inayopaa angani because of me kwa sababu yangu by the power of the cross kwa nguvu ya msalaba i nail you forever na kugongomea milele i revoke you permanently na kutengua milele in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu clap your hands and pray that prayer kama kofi na uombe ile ombi any curse laana yoyote flying on the sky inayopaa angani because of me kwa sababu yangu i revoke it na itengua i revoke it na itengua i revoke it na itengua by fire kwa moto i revoke it ni naitengua kwa moto 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 ni naitengua holy ghost fire say any stop on curse sema laana yoyote sumbufu that have been following 
me from my father's side kutoka upande wa baba yangu my mother side upande wa mama yangu that don't want me to shine ambaye haitaki ningae by the power of the cross kwa nguvu ya msalaba and the covenant sword na chumvi ya agano by the power of the cross kwa nguvu ya msalaba and the covenant sword na chumvi ya agano be broken permanently kunjika milele be broken permanently kunjika milele in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu Every stubborn curses from my father's side, my mother's side, they don't want me to be great. They don't want me to prosper. They don't want me to succeed. Be broken permanently by the power of the cross. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Punjika punjika Cases of anti-marriage. Causes barrenness. Causes delay. Causes divorce. Causes struggle and suffering. In marriages. Causes bitterness. Causes somebody to marry and not being happy. Causes people to be rejected can be husband or wife in a marriage causes people to bear children without getting married properly to any man or woman but as we pray every cause of anti marriage we break Say every case of anti marriage in my family. Sema kila laana ya kupinga ndoa kwenye familia yetu. That is operating. Kazi. From my father's side. Kutoka upande wa baba yangu. My mother's side. Upande wa mama yangu. By the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. And the covenant sword. Na chumvi ya agano. Be broken. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Kama kofi na uombe ile ombi. We reverse it to blessings. Tunaigeuza kuwa baraka. To marriage settlement. Kuwa kuingia kwenye ndoa. Marriage settlement. Kuingia kwenye ndoa. Reverse the curse. Geuza hiyo laana. Shaka palaka takatala. Zopra tete paya tasha. Zombra takapaya to. Ila kapara degedesha. Esoka paya. Shaka parada. Romana nganosa. Rika paradosha rakato sapayada lembra de gebosha pray omba shakatapa erika tapa erana unai pinga toa we family yangu nina kugeuza kuwa kuingia kwenye toa nina kugeuza kwa moto kwa moto kwa nguvu ya saraba kwa nguvu ya saraba na agano la chumvi ewe rana unai pinga toa upande wa baba yangu upande wa mama yangu nina kugeuza kuingia kwenye toa nina kugeuza holy ghost Fire. I prophesy. Natabiri. Every curse. Kila laana. Every curse. Kila laana. Of anti marriages. Ya kupinga ndoa. In your family. Kwenye familia yenu. They are reversed. Zimegeuzwa. Into blessings in the name of Jesus. Kuwa baraka kwa jina la Yesu. Into marital success in the name of Jesus. Kuwa kustawi kwenye ndoa kwa jina la Yesu. Shout the loudest amen. Kige fika mina kubwa. Say Every curse from the dream. Sema kila ndoto kila laana kutoka kwenye ndoto that is walking against me. Inayofanya kazi dhidi yangu and the demon behind it. Na pepo nyuma yake and the power behind it. Na nguvu nyuma yake. Every curse from the dream. Kila laana kutoka ndotoni and the demon behind it. Na pepo liliopo nyuma yake and the powers behind it. Na nguvu zilizopo nyuma yake by the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba by the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba 
and the covenant salt na chumvi ya agano be broken by fire kunjika kwa moto be broken by fire kunjika kwa moto in the name of jesus jina la yesu clap your hands and pray piga makofi uombe pray omba pray omba pray omba pray omba every cast from the dream kila laana kutoka dotoni from my mother's womb let it be revoked let it be revoked the demons behind it the altar behind it let it be revoked let it be revoked by fire be reversed to blessings be reversed to blessings we nail it on the cross we nail it on the cross the cross of calvary the cross of calvary we nail it now 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 for my father side for my mother side for my community for my community for my neighborhood for my neighborhood i revoke it let it be revoked let it be revoked holy ghost issued against you in the dream laana zote zilizoachiliwa dhidi yako kutokea kwenye ndoto the powers and the demon behind it nguvu na pepo mapepo yaliyopo nyuma yake are broken permanently in the name of jesus yamevunjwa milele kwa jina la yesu they are broken permanently in the name of jesus yamevunjwa milele kwa jina la yesu i reverse it into blessings nasigeuza kuwa baraka you are blessed umebarikiwa mikono yako say every self imposed curse sema kila laana ya kujisababishia mwenyewe true negative words kupitia maneno hasi true my disobedience kupitia kukosa kwangu ti true my actions kupitia matendo yangu true my sins kupitia dhambi zangu true making vows kupitia kuwa na dhambi and pledges na ahadi Lord show me mercy. Hey, bwana, Pray for mercy. Ombea rehema. By the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. This one is not fire fire. Hii hapa sio ya moto moto. Pray for mercy. Ombea rehema. Mercy. Rehema. Mercy. Rehema. Mercy. Rehema. Mercy. Rehema. Mercy. Rehema. Mercy. Rehema. Let it be blotted out. Acha ifutwe. The handwriting. Uo mwandiko. By the mercies of God. Kwa rehema za Mungu. Let the voice of the curse. Acha sauti hiyo laana. Be silent. Inyamazishwe. Kudubala kutu tu paratush Acha sauti inyamazishwe Sua sua maka bayanda Kwa rehema za Mungu Le kuparatosha kapa Sauti ya hiyo laana Sheke paradusa ta Acha inyamazishwe Le kumala konde ke basa Kwa rehema za Mungu Ratosha kapa latia Rehema rehema Sema ratosha prata Rehema rehema Le kuparate glada Acha sauti ya hiyo laana Se prate ke paladesh Inyamazishwe Rende pele de pele de pele Kwa rehema za Mungu kapara tekete acha laana ifutwe rata sabra tekete kwa rehema za Mungu shanda pala kata laana kujisababishia sopra teke parate acha ifutwe rata pala da pala da pala da rehema za Mungu rukata takala doza rehema rehema in Jesus name we pray kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba I prophesy na tabiri by the mercy of God kwa rehema za Mungu any curse you place on yourself laana yoyote uliyojisababishia true sin kupitia dhambi true negative pro, pronunciation kupitia matamko hasi declarations matamko through your actions kupitia matendo yako true vows and pledges kupitia nadhiri na ahadi by the mercy of God kwa rehema za Mungu they are revoked permanently zimetenguliwa milele can I hear thunderous amen? Naweza kusikia amina kubwa kama radi. Say every cause of innocent blood in my family. Sema kila laana ya umwagaji damu isiyo na hatia kwenye familia yetu. The curse of innocent blood shed in my family. Laana ya umwagaji damu isiyo na hatia kwenye familia yetu. In my clan. Kwenye ukoo wetu. In my community. Kwenye jamii yetu. In my foundation. Kwenye misingi yetu. In this nation Tanzania. Kwenye taifa hili la Tanzania. That is affecting me. Ambayo inaniathiri. Say as I kneel to pray. Sema napopiga magoti kuomba. As I kneel to pray. Napopiga magoti kuomba. Let that blood. Acha hiyo damu. Be cleansed by mercy. Isafishwe kwa rehema. Let that blood. Acha hiyo damu 
damu be blotted out ifutwe by the mercy of god kwa rehema za mungu mercy 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 rehema 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 mercy 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 rehema 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 by the power of the cross kwa nguvu ya msalaba by the blood of jesus kwa damu ya yesu that was shed on the cross of calvary ilo mwaga msalabani calvary we blot it out tunaifuta we blot it out tunaifuta we erase it tunaifuta in our nation kwenye taifa letu in this kigogo hapa kigogo in our clan kwenye koo zetu in our father and mother side kwenye upande wa baba zetu na mama zetu in our community kwenye jamii zetu in our nation kwenye taifa letu in our families kwenye familia zetu mercy 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 rehema 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 in our neighborhood kwenye eneo tunaloishi in our streets kwenye mitaa yetu in our business area kwenye maeneo yetu ya biashara mercy 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 rehema 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 mercy mercy rehema 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 let it be cleansed by the blood of jesus acha isafishwe kwa damu ya yesu let the voice of the innocent blood acha sauti ya damu isiyo na hatia be silenced by the blood of jesus inyamazishwe kwa damu ya yesu mercy 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 rehema 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 mercy 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 rehema 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 we, we burn our family out tunakomboa familia zetu we burn our community out tunakomboa jamii zetu we burn our nation out tunakomboa taifa letu we burn ourselves out tunajikomboa we burn our father and mother side out tunakomboa pande za baba zetu na mama zetu we burn our clan out tunakomboa koo zetu we burn ourselves out tunajikomboa we burn Christ mandate out tunaikomboa Christ mandate by the blood of Jesus kwa damu ya Yesu by the blood of Jesus. Kwa damu ya Yesu. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba. The cases of innocent bloodshed are broken permanently in the name of Jesus. Laana za umwagaji damu isiyo na hatia zimevunjika milele kwa jina la Yesu. The cases of innocent bloodshed are broken by the blood of Jesus. Laana za umwagaji damu isiyo na hatia zimevunjika kwa jina la Yesu. Stand up on your feet again. Simama tena kwa miguu yako. Today is the final day. Leo ndo siku ya mwisho. Don't be in a hurry to to go. Usiwe na haraka ya kuondoka. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? You have been suffering for years. Umeteseka kwa miaka. Your parent, your great grandparent may have suffered and died. Wazazi wako bibi na babu yako naweza kuwa aliteseka na wakafa. They didn't deal with it. Hawakushughulikia. Na God have given you this grace to be here. Sasa Mungu amekupa neema ya kuwa hapa. To deal with it. Kushughulikia. In this period. Kwenye kipindi hiki. Lift up your hands. Inua juu mikono yako. Say as I begin to pray. Sema napoanza kuomba. You poverty curse. Wewe laana ya umaskini. The demon behind it. Pepo iliyopo nyuma yake and the altar behind it na madhabahu nyuma yake you poverty curse wewe laana ya umaskini the demon behind it pepo nyuma yake and the power behind it na nguvu nyuma yake the altar behind it madhabahu nyuma yake enough is enough yatosha yatosha enough is enough yatosha yatosha by the power of the cross kwa nguvu ya msalaba i nail you on the cross na kugongomea msalabani clap your hands and pray that prayer kwa makofi na uombe ile ombi i nail you on the cross na kugongomea msalabani you curse of poverty wewe laana ya umaskini hardship ugumu hardship ugumu suffering and struggling mateso na Angaiko. Be broken. Vunjika. Be broken. Vunjika. Permanently. Milele. 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 Be broken. Kunjika permanently milele broko kunjika permanently milele pray omba vuja 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 acha zivujike milele acha zivujike milele acha zivujike milele rana rana maskini rana kuteswa rana kuangaika vunjika milele vunjika milele vunjika milele upande wa baba yangu vunjika milele upande wa mama yangu vunjika milele rana rana maskini rana kucheleweshwa rana ya ugumu rana pana kushuka vunjika milele vunjika milele vunjika milele kwa nguvu ya salaba kwa nguvu ya salaba vunjika milele vunjika milele vunjika milele holy ghost fire say you cast sema wewe laana you cases nie laana of non achievement za kuta kufikia chochote failure kushindwa illness magonjwa sickness maradhi 
Premature death. Premature death. Set back. Kurudi nyuma. Set back. Kurudi nyuma. Delay. Kucheleweshwa. Delay. Kucheleweshwa. Rising and falling. Kupanda na kushuka. Rising and falling. Kupanda na kushuka. Near success syndrome. Kushindwa kwa na karibia kufanikiwa. Last minute failure. Kufeli na kaza mwisho. Last minute failure. Kushindwa na kaza mwisho. Enough is enough. Yatosha, yatosha. I nail you on the cross. Na kugongomea msalabani. Break my fire. Kujika kwa moto. In the name of Jesus pray. In the name of Jesus pray. Let the test of non achievement. Illness. Difficulties. Ugumu. Struggle. Mangaiko. Struggle. Mangaiko. Setback. Kuruni nyuma. Delay. Kucheleweshwa. Last minute disappointment. Kwa shota mada kaza mwisho. Let it be broken. Hacha ikunjike. Be broken. Kunjika. Be broken. Kunjika. From your father side. Kutoko fane mama yako. Your mother side. Kufane mama yako. Lakupa ratosh. Kunjika. Reke palatala. Kunjika kwa moto. Rona mana mana. Kunjika kunjika. Case of certain death. Lana vifo vya gafla. Case of certain death. Lana vifo vya gafla. Be revoked permanently. Milele. Be revoked permanently. Milele. Holy Ghost. Fire. The cases are broken in the name of Jesus. Say every department of my life. Say makila idara ya maisha yangu. The cases have closed. Ambayo laana zilifunga. Every department of my life. The cases have closed. Let it be reopened again. Hold on. It may be marriage. It may be finances. It may be business. It may be happy life. Many of you don't have a happy life. You are suffering and smiling. Because the devil has closed joy. The devil has closed gladness. It means anything that will bring true joy will be far from him. Tonight is about to be reopened. It's about to be reopened. Say by the power of the cross. Every department of my life. The cases have closed. Let it be reopened. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands and reopen it. Pray, pray with anger. Pray vigorously. Pray aggressively. Pray ferociously. Rakata palakata barada. I reopen my ministry, my spiritual eyes, my spiritual ears. Lord, by your mercy, let it be reopened. My ministry, my spiritual eyes, my spiritual ears, my blessings, my greatness, my career, my womb, my marriage, my finances, every good thing, let it be reopened. My talent, my gift, my skills, let it be reopened. Let it be reopened. My destiny helpers, destiny helpers, let it be reopened. Let it be reopened. Shakatapa, erikatapa, ekapayata, erutupa, na fungua upia, na fungua upia. Kila idara ya maisha yangu, ambara rana, ili funga, na fungua upia, na fungua uduma, na fungua baraka, na fungua pandichwa. Kila idara ya maisha yangu, funguka, 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 funguka upia, 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 funguka upia. Fungu kapa, 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 fungu kapa. Holy Ghost! Fire! Every department of your life. Kila idara ya maisha yako. The cases had closed before. Namba la ana likuwe meifunga. I prophesy. Natabiri. They are permanently reopened. Zimefunguliwa upi amilele. They are. 
permanently reopened in the name of Jesus. Your marriage opened. Your womb opened. Your spiritual eyes opened. Your ministry opened. Your dream life opened. Your memory dream opened. Your dream memory opened. Your career opened. Academic opened. Destiny opened. Talent opened. Gift opened. Skills opened. Destiny helpers opened. Joy opened. Happiness opened. Blessings opened. Wealth opened. Riches opened. Promotion opened. Job opened. Twins opened. Children opened. Husband opened. Wife opened. Everything is opened in the name of Jesus. Shout aloud and say me. There shall be no more cases. There shall be no more cases in your family. Only blessings are permitted. Only blessings are permitted. Shout I am blessed. Shout my family is blessed. Shout my life is blessed. If you believe it, jump up and shout the loudest, amen. You are free. Clap up for Jesus. Asante, Yesu, umenitenda me mao. 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 How many of you believe that God has done something for you? Or you take your thanksgiving offering? Kwa sadaka yako ya shukurani. Take your thanksgiving offering. Asante Yesu menitenda me mao. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus, you have done me well. Oh, thank you, Jesus, you have done me well. Oh, thank you, Jesus, you have done me well. Oh, thank you, Jesus, you have done me well. Oh, thank you, Jesus, you have done me well. To see your hand this way. As you give that offering, your blessings shall be sealed permanently. And those who don't have to give, I also see your blessing permanently, including our viewers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you are coming to give the offering, make sure you are dancing. Because generational curses are broken. Ancestral curses are broken. Secondly, if you register for testimony, when you come to give your offering, don't go back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You have done me well. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You have done me well. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You have done me well. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You have done me well. Thank you, Jesus. Well, oh, thank you, Jesus. You have done me well. Who many did not? 
Shalom Kanisa. Shalom Church. Kwa majina naitwa Hilda Kagirwa. My name is Hilda Kagirwa. Natokea zone ya Tabata. From Tabata zone Dar es Salaam Tanzania. Nina shuhuda moja. I have one testimony. Kwanza kabisa namshukuru Mungu. First I thank God. Kwa kunipa kibali cha kusimama mahali hapa. For giving me the favor to stand here. Na jinsi namshukuru tena Mungu wa Christ mandate. Na so thank the God of Christ mandate. Mungu amtumishwe Yesu Joseph Malak. The God of Jesus servant Malak Joseph. Kila anapopigania. By how he fights for me. Na kutuombea. And prays for us. Nimekuwa nikipitia changamoto nyingi. I've been going through many challenges. Lakini hata siku moja hajawahi kutuchoka. But he has never gotten tired of us even once. Shoda yangu inahusu roho za kuchunguza. My testimony concerns monitoring spirits. Mwezi wa pili in February niliku nyumbani kwangu at my home ilikuwa kila ikifika saa 3 usiku it started to reach 9 pm ilikuwa wanatokea inzi wakubwa flies, flies would appear La, wale jamii ya tise tise fly the sets of flies wanapatikana mistuni they are normally found in the forest wao oh, wanasumbua sana wale wanyama wakubwa they normally disturb those big animals walikuwa wanakuja wengi there come many of them tukijaribu kuwaua whenever we try to kill them wanazidi kuongezeka they keep on increasing ukienda chumbani unawakuta when you go to the room you find them ukija sebule unawakuta when you go to the living room you find them baada ya kuonekana kwamba tatukitumia dawa hawaishi When you saw that even after using the insecticides we couldn't finish them. On the 21st of February, I took a step of faith. And came to meet Jesus servant. Are you the one on the screen? Yes, that's me. Unaweza kuendelea, you may continue. Jesus servant prayed for me. Those flies wali wali walipotea kabisa disappear completely <laughs> lakini but mimi sikujua kwamba kulikuwa na sisimizi nao wengi sana ndani ya nyumba i didn't know there were many ants at home tulikuwa tukitenga hata chakula mezani whenever we set food in the table kabla hatujaanza kula wenyewe wameshazunguka ile meza Before we start eating the ants would have surrounded the whole table. Ukienda kitandani unawakuta. When you go to on the, to your bed you find them. Watu natumia dawa waishi. We use the insecticides but all to no avail. Lakini baada ya kuombewa ile tarehe 21 moja. When I spread for on the 21st. Hata sisimizi walipotea. Even the ants yeah. disappeared. Kabisa ongeza makofi tena na tena kwa bwana Yesu. Salve Jesus more and more. Shuhuda zako mama ziwe za kudumu katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Let us be permanent in the name of Jesus. Roza kuchunguza zimetoweka. The ants and spirits have disappeared. Ongeza tena makofi. Clap your hands more and more. Shalom shalom. Shalom. Kwa jina naitwa Delvin Fredrick Shayo. My name is Delvin Fredrick Shayo. 
Imetokea zoni ya Kimara. From Kimara zone Dar es Salaam Tanzania. Na shuhuda moja ya uponyaji. I have one healing testimony. Nili kwa muda wa kama wiki mbili hivi nilipata attack. Angalia kamera, angalia kamera. Look at the camera. For like two weeks I had an attack. Ya mguu on my leg. Ilianza kwenye nyonga mpaka kwenye nyayo. He started from the pelvic and headed towards to the sole of my feet. Nikaenda hospitali. I went to the hospital. Nikapewa dawa nikachomwa sindano. I was injected and I was given medication. Sikupata nafuu. But I never got relieved. Nilikuwa siwezi hata kutembea. I couldn't even walk. Kila unapoenda lazima utumie bajaji au pikipiki. Wherever I, I, I went I'd have to use the motorcycle or tricycle. Ikabidi niende hospitali nyingine ya serikali. I had to go to another government hospital. Nikaenda kupiga x-ray. They did an x-ray. Nikaambiwa hamna kitu chochote. But they didn't discover any problem. Ile tarehe 22 Ijumaa on the 22nd on Friday nikachua kuwa atoa imani. I took a step of faith. Nikaja counseling. I came for counseling. Hapo ndio wewe kwenye runinga? Ndio. Ndio hapo yes. unaingia umebebwa? Ndio. You, you came in they were, they were carrying you. Endelea. Yes. Continue. Mtumishi wa Yesu akaniombea. Just someone prayed for me. Nikapokea uponyaji wangu. I received my healing. Wow. Hebu kanisa ongeza makofi kwa Mungu wa Christ man. Just I pray the God of Christ man more and more. So you could not walk. Kwa kwa uweze kutembea. Ndio, nilikuwa siwezi kutembea kabisa. That's why they carried you. Ndio maana alikubeba. Ndio. Yes. Kanisa ipoangalia. Kanisa angalia mtumishi wa Yesu alipoanza kumuombea. Shall you can see when Jesus was started praying for her? Angalia jinsi mtumishi wa Yesu alipoanza kumuombea. See how Jesus was started praying for her. Dada yetu alinyanyuka saa hiyo hiyo. Our sister stood at that same time. Na alianza kutembea. And started walking. Mpaka leo mnamuona hapo. Till right now you can see her. Ni mzima kabisa. She is totally fine. Hebu mshangilie Yesu mfinyazi wa Jesus wajawa. the wonderful potter. Endelea kuchapa makofi. Keep on clapping your hands. Endelea kuchapa makofi. Keep on clapping your hands. Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu. Our God is faithful. Hakuna kwake la kumshinda. There's nothing hard to Hakuna kwake la kumshinda. There's nothing hard for him. Hakuna kwake la kumshinda. There's nothing hard for him. Ongeza makofi. Keep on clapping your hands. Shangilie bwana Yesu. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shuhuda zako dada ziwe za kodomo katika jina la Yesu. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Ongeza tena makofi kwa Mungu wa Christ mandate. Keep on clapping hands the God of Christ mandate. Mungu wa Christ mandate hana hadithi. The God of Christ mandate has no stories. Kwa majina naitwa Rebecca Kisamo. My name is Rebecca Kisamo. Natokea kijito Nyama Dar es Salaam Tanzania. From Kijito Nyama Dar es Salaam Tanzania. Nimefanya kazi Bagamoyo kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi. I worked at Bagamoyo for over 10 years. Nikaamishwa Dar es Salaam. Then I was transferred to Dar es Salaam. Kitoni hicho amishiwa nikapangiwa kazi ambazo ziko chini sana kwa uwezo wangu. In the, in, the work, in the new workstation they assigned me to do works that were beyond my capability. Zinalingana na ule mtu ambaye ndo siku ya kwanza anaweza kama ameajiriwa anaweza kapewa. These are the, the these are the tasks that a newcomer is is the one who's normally given. Nikaona kwa sababu nina uzoefu alafu nina uwezo wa kufanya kazi nyingine tofauti na hizo. So I thought because I was experienced that I could do other works instead of that. Nikaona hapa naona narudishwa nyuma. I saw that they were pulling me back. Nikaamua kuja kwenye counseling. I decided to come for counseling. Nikamwona mtumishi wa Yesu. I met Jesus servant. Akanipa maelekezo. He gave me instructions. Nikarudi siku nyingine baada ya maelekezo yale. I returned another day after the instructions. Alikuwa maelekezo gani ya kufunga au What instructions were you given? Alinielekeza kutoa sacrifice. He instructed me to give sacrifice. Endelea. Continue. Nilivorudi akaniombea. When I returned Jesus someone prayed for me. Mwezi ule ule nikapangiwa kituo kingine sehemu nyingine. That same month I was transferred to another workstation. Kanisa hebu ongeza makofi kwa Mungu wa Christ mandate. Just clap hands for the God of Christ mandate. Anasema baada ya kukutana na mtumishi wa Yesu. He say after meeting Jesus servant. Akampa maelekezo ya kutoa dhabihu. And he started out to give sacrifice. Akapelekwa ile sehemu ambayo Dio anayotaka afanye kazi. She was transferred to another workstation which she desired. Baada ya miaka 10 
aliyofanya kazi after 10 years at work hebu mshangilie Mungu wa Cross Mandate celebrate the God of Cross Mandate piga makofi zaidi na zaidi clap your hands more and more twambie dada yetu sasa una furaha are you happy now Namshukuru Mungu sana, namshukuru pia mtumishi wa Yesu. I thank God so much, I thank Jesus servant. Nina furaha. I'm happy. Hadi songeza makofi kwa Mungu wa Christ Mandate. Shall celebrate the God of Christ Mandate. Dada yetu amepata haja ya moyo wake. Our sister has received her heart desire. Shuhuda zako ziwe za kodomo katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Is permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ongeza tena makofi. Clap your hands some more. Mungu wa Christ Mandate hana hadithi. The God of Christ Mandate has no stories. Shalom kanisa. Shalom church. Bwana asifiwe. Praise Jesus. Kwa majina naitwa Neema Sara. My name is Neema Sara. Natokea zone Kimara. From Kimara zone Dar es Salaam Tanzania. Uh, napenda kumshukuru sana Mungu. I'd like to thank God so much. Pia namshukuru mtumishi wa Yesu. I so thank Jesus servant. Yeye ni baba wote. He is the father to us all. Ah, uh, ilikuwa Jumapili. It was on Sunday. Ibada ya pili inaenda ya tatu. Towards the end of the second service, nikapigiwa simu. I received a phone call. Tushamaliza ibada pili natakiwa niingie ya tatu. The second service had ended and I wanted to enter the third service. Mtoto wangu nyumbani alimeza line, line mbili za simu. My child back home swallowed two SIM cards. Ah. Uh, nikawaza nifanye ibada au kwanza nichomoke. So I thought to myself should I enter the third service then leave but i say the art of Christ mandate is very powerful humanly as a mother it's hard because such pressures like we should have to take her to the hospital for emergency i told my parents i'm the mother right Nikamwambia mwacheni mtoto. Leave the child. Nisimguse mtoto. Don't touch the child. Na kama kuna chakula mpeni. And if there's food, give it to the child. Nikafanya ibada ya tatu. I attended the third service. Naimba lakini rooni. I was ministering but in my spirit. Ongeza makofi kwa Mungu wa Christ mandate. Celebrate the God of Christ mandate. Endelea. Continue. Nifumalize baada ya tatu nikawahi kuondoka. After the third service I left. Nikafika nyumbani. I reached home. Nikauliza kilichotokea. And I asked what happened. Dada kazi kadabia nilitoa simu line za simu nikaeka chini nimeenda jikoni. The house help said she removed the SIM card from the phone placed it on the ground and she went to the kitchen. Nimekuta mtoto ndo anamalizikia kuumeza kwa shida. And then she found that the child was Swallowing the SIM cards. Line in bills, the same. Two SIM cards. I said, "Mama, can I be a team to take on your girl to undock?" Mom told me, "Put the child in the car. Let's leave." I said, "No." I ministered in a very powerful altar. Apo ni merudi ni meloa jasho. That time, when I got home, I was filled with sweat. I said, "I did not dance in vain." I'm serving the living God. So I was arguing with my family. I took my child and put her, put her inside. At night, I took a wrapper and tied it around the child. Manto. I took the mantle. I took three pins and tied it. And I said she'll ease herself inside there. Nikasema situmi message kwa baba vikesi vidogo vidogo hivi kwa kuimba tu vinaenda. I said I'm not saying this message to Jesus servant. Such small issues just by ministering just by praising God that such issues will be solved. Nilikotoka ni mbali kuliko hapa nilipo. Where I came from, from is far compared to where I am now. Nikamwambia mimi na deal na issue. So I told them I'm dealing with this issue. Mtoto tunakufunga. So they said if you kill the child we are going to take you to jail. Wiki iliyopita pale mtaani tumemzika mtoto wa miaka 4 amemeza line ya simu. Last week they buried a 4 years child who had swallowed SIM cards. Kwa hiyo kuna muda nasema mm kweli. So there are times I was saying like really mbona kama na test mitambo. It's like I'm testing this. Afu kuna roho inaniambia upo mahali sahihi. So a certain voice told me that I'm in the right place. 
Kweli? Choli. Tukalala. Nalala lakini usiku siyali na chungu. We slept but at night I would have to wake up and peep on the child. Nikiona apumui na mpigia. Ah, kumbe yupo hai. When I see that the child is not breathing, I hit the child so I tell her. Sikulala jumapili. So she's alive. I couldn't sleep at night. On Sunday. Jumatatu na amka subui. On Monday I woke up in the morning. Na mfungua ile. Kweli ya mepu kwenye kisepe lakini ya dimetokeza upu kwenye nani. Kwenye bandi. So the child had killed herself in the wrapper. Na angalia. I checked. Ya nikuwa na haraka kuangalia kile kwenye chap chap. Siku ujali siku mkono or ever. I rushed to look at that defecation. Nika pekua, nika pekua, nika kutana na laini. I checked and checked and found the SIM card. Wow. Hapo kwenye luminga nyo kwa laini na kinyesi hapo. That's the SIM card and the defecation we see on the screen. Laini ya kwanza yo. Yo laini ya kwanza. First SIM card. Na kinyesi chake hapo. Nika mute siku ambia nyumbani. I didn't tell my family about it. Tukalala siku yake ya pili tena. We slept the second day. Akapu mule mule. Ya pili. She defecated again. Sasa. The second SIM card came out. Nika waitu wa kina Thomas unjoin. I told the Thomas, come. Clap up for Jesus. There are some issues you have to do it. Deal it with yourself and your God. Kuna maswala lasma uyashulike mwenye na mungu wako. No matter what people say, you say, leave it for me and my God. I lock myself inside me and my God. And when the result come, I will show you. Matokeo ya kija nita wanyesha. Pigie yesu makofi. Clap hands for Jesus. Because she knows their God. Kwa sabu wana mjua mungu wake. For that that know their God shall be strong. As you know the God of Christ's mandate He shall fight for you He shall speak for you He shall deliver you And protect you So I called those Thomas I did not throw away the first defecation I did not throw away the first defecation I put it well. Nigeka kwenye uki kuna vifuko fani vya baba vya kubebea anatupaga. There are these partnership divisions. So I put the division inside. Sabu unaweza kuweka sehemu afu shetani akachukua. Because you can store it somewhere and the devil will take it away. Alafu watu wasiamini wakajua uongo. And people will not believe you they think you're lying. Kwa hiyo nikatoa kwenye ulinzi nigeka kwenye ulinzi. So I removed it from the protection and placed it in the, inside the hand of protect, the bag of protection. Basi, he, kweli bwana. Nikaambia jamani, sipigi kelele pale mbele. Mnavoniona kwenye TV. I said when you see me on TV, I'm not shouting. Siuzi sura. I'm not I'm not showing myself. Namtumikia Mungu aliye hai. He says the living God. Kanisa japo makofi tena na tena kwa bwana Yesu. Just like us for Jesus more and more. Mungu ndiye akomtumikia Mungu aliye hai. Say and never serve the living God. Naye atakutetea wakati wa shida. And he shall defend you in times of trouble. Utamwita wakati wa mateso atakuitikia. You shall call unto him in the days of trouble and he shall answer you. Malizia sasa kwa ufupi. Finish your testimony briefly. Mtoto yuko fine. The child is fine. I'm not a new emergency. Wala muimbili, wala tabata, wala sebi. There's no emergency. There's no muimbili hospital. There's no tabata. Shakiria ya sumfinya ziwajabu. Salva cheese as the wonderful porter. Chunela koyo ya kudumu katika cheese. Nala yes. Your testimony is permanent in the name of Jesus. Ani sebo kesa makofi kwa mungu wa Christ mandate. Shall celebrate the God of Christ mandate. Tetezi we to you high. Our defender is alive. Tetezi we to you high. Our defender is alive. Continue. Praise the Lord Church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm humbled to stand again in this altar to Nani. share what God has done in my life and my family. My name is Amebo Joanna Emmanuel. Majina yangu ni Mebo Jana Emmanuel from Kimara Zone Dar es Salaam. Kutoka kanda ya Kimara Dar es Salaam Tanzania. I appreciate God of this altar. 
Since I joined this out of mercy, he has been too good and too faithful to fail me. I always like to say this. I appreciate God's servant of this altar for accepting the call. Because if it was not of him, I don't know you and I where we'll be. Sijui mimi na wewe tungekuwa wapi. Papa, thank you. Papa, asante. Every time remember to pray more grace for our papa. Kila wakati omba neema zaidi juu ya baba yetu akiroho. He's fighting many battles, many altars. Anapigana vita vingi madhabahu nyingi. That we bring them here. Tunazoleta hapa. I'll try to be straightforward to the point. Nitajaribu kuzungumza kwa ufupi. The young lady beside me. Binti aliyeko pembeni yangu. Miss Tanzania. Miss Tanzania. She's my beloved mother. Ni mama yangu kipenzi. Mama mapiga rengere kwa Bwana Yesu basi. We may celebrate Jesus. Shangilie mama yetu. Celebrate our mother. And in fact she's the one who forced me to stand here today. Kiwalisiani yeye alilazimisha kusimama hapa leo. I had my queue of testimonies. Na shuhuda nyingi. But I wanted them to share after Inom. Lakini nataka nishuhudie baada ya usiku wa kimataifa ya rehema. But because of her. Lakini kwa sababu yake. She said I cannot wait till Sunday. Alisema siwezi kuongojea paka Jumapili. You take me to the church today. Nipeleke kanisani leo hii. Cuz I want to speak. Nataka kuzungumza. Anataka kuzungumza. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So it was last Friday. Kwa kwa Ijumaa iliyopita. when she demanded that she has to be brought to the to man of God. Alipo alipoomba aletwe kwa mtumishi wa Yesu. To pray for for the last past like two months ago or three months ago she has been complaining about her leg and according yes that's my mother and myself so she has been complaining about her leg sometimes we have witnessed the leg being swollen and according to her na kulingana na yeye maelezo yake she said there was a certain day alisema kuna siku fulani she was just relaxed in her pala alikuwa tu amepumzika and she saw in the spirit akaona katika roho a snake nyoka come and enter in her feet anakuja akamwingia kwenye mguu wake and that was the beginning of her trouble in walking na hon ndio alikuwa mwanzo wa yeye kushindwa kutembea So she had been complaining and complaining. So that Friday I said no we are going to see papa. You see she has her manto. He's her personal manto. Whenever she travels, mm. she go with the manto. Wow. Ask your neighbor, do you have your manto? For Inom. I remember last year she traveled to Songea. Na kumbuka mko jana alisafiri akaenda Songea. She's from the Lake Nyasa there. Ametokea ziwa Nyasa kule. She carry her manto. Alibeba mzaka la kinabii. Spiritual backup, spiritual backup. Kutegemeza kiroho. Last month, mwezi uliopita, Satan tried her. She was admitted at the hospital. Alilazwa hospitali. She was together with her manto. Alikuwa na vazi lake la kinabii. She packed herself up. I don't I don't share those photos because I want just to be go straight to the point. What, what God did on Friday. Lakini Mungu alichokitenda Ijumaa. So we took a stop of faith and came for counseling on Friday. Tukachukua toa imani tukaja kwa ajili ya ibada ya ushauri Ijumaa. And she was suffering from frequent diarrhea. Na alikuwa na harisha mara kwa mara. High blood pressure. Shinikizo la damu la juu. Severe headache maumivu makali ya kichwa and the leg pain na maumivu ya miguu so after being prayed for by papa kwa baada ya mtumishi wa Yesu kumwombea she receive her instant healing alipokea uponyaji wake papo hapo uponyaji papo hapo i remember we walked out of that door na kumbuka tulitembea tukatoka nje ya mlango she was like wewe akasema you unajua kichwa akiniume Pigie Yesu makofi ni Mungu tu ni Yesu tu That can only be God that can only be Jesus Huyo baba huyo baba huyo baba jamani This father this father 
praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So she received her instant healing right there after the prayers. Kwa alipokea ponyeji wake papo hapo baada ya maombi. Wow. And today she's here. Na leo hii yuko hapa. Returning all the glory to God. Anamrishia Mungu tukufu wote. I don't, know, mama I don't know why they give her a chair. Sio kwa nini wamempa kiti. She's very strong to stand by herself. Ana nguvu anaweza kusimama mwenyewe. Mama, mama, with all respect, kwa heshima yote. Please stand and shame the devil. Tafadhali simama muaibisha shetani. That's totally healed. Wow. Na umeponya kikamilifu. And you shall fulfill the number of your days in this earth in Jesus name. Atatimiza siku zako za hapa duniani kwa jina la Yesu. You can say something to the Lord what he Yes, done to you. Unaweza kusema kitu kwa Bwana kwa kile alichokitendea? Shalom, shalom. Shalom. I happy be very happy. Nimefurahi sana. I'm very happy. Amenitendea. He has done it for me. Amenitendea. He has done it for me. Sisiki pressure. I no longer express pressure. Sisiki mguu. No like pain. Yote ni safi. I'm very wow. okay. Shangiria Yesu mfinyazi wa ajabu. Celebrate Jesus the wonderful. Shangiria Yesu mfinyazi wa ajabu. Celebrate Jesus the wonderful. Maana kwa kupigwa kwake Yesu sisi tuliponywa. For by his stripes we are healed. Amen. Papa by your permission, can I let her go? Yeah, you. Papa na bwana ruhusu, mimi arudi kwenye kiti chake. Kanisa ongeza makofi kwa Mungu wa Shasa ibe the God of Christ made it. Mama shuhuda zako ziweza kodomo katika jina la Yesu. Mama your testimonies are permanent in the name of Jesus. But the two of the testimony. Sehemu ya pili ya shuhuda. I brought her but I also came. Nilimleta lakini mimi pia nilikuja. I came because I was instructed to raise a sacrifice. Nilikuja kwa sababu nilipewa maelekezo ya kuinua dhabihu for certain instructions that are had me kwa ajili ya maelekezo fulani ambayo nilipatiwa hapo kwenye runinga ndo wewe i don't want to see on the screen that's me yes huyo ni mimi ndio endelea but that one will come after lakini yeye itakuja baadaye now my testimony is this sasa ushuhuda wangu unakwenda hivi when i was talking to papa nilipokuwa nazungumza na mtumishi wa Yesu was i came for the prayer for the ministry kwa sababu nilikuja kwa ajili ya maombi kwenye huduma hii i also came for the prayer for my position at work nilikuja pia kuomba maombi kwa ajili ya nafasi yangu kazini and more grace na neema zaidi so i brought some things symbols of the ministry he prayed for Konkaleta zile ishara za kwa ajili ya huduma akaziombea. And when I gave him my ID of the office and the key. Na nilipompa kitambulisho na fungo zangu za ofisini. Papa said. Tumisha Yesu akasema. There is a envy spirit at your working place. Kuna roho ya husda katika eneo lako la kazi. I could not understand at first. Sikuelewa hapo kabla. But then after. Lakini baada ya hapo I realize yes. Nikagundua kwamba ndio kwa I've been promoted and demoted kwa several sabre, times. Nimekuwa nikipandishwa cheo na kushushwa mara nyingi. So then after the prayers are left, kwa baada ya maombi nikaondoka. Believe that God has taken charge. Nikaamini kwamba Mungu ametawala. So that was a Friday. Kwa hiyo hiyo ilikuwa Ijumaa. On Monday, Jumatatu, I went to the office. Nikaenda ofisini. I took my miracle sword. Nikachukua chumvi ya miujiza. I spread it everywhere in my office. Nikanyiza kila sehemu ofisini kwangu. And there was this certain lizard. Na kuna huyu mjusi green in color. Wa kijani. He has been there for many years more than 10 years if I recall it well. Amekuwa hapo mara yani zaidi ya mara 10 kama naweza kukumbuka vizuri. Whenever I shift to another office. Kila ninapohamia ofisi nyingine. That lizard will be there. Huyo mjusi atakuepo hapo. I have shifted like four offices. Nimeama kama ofisi nne. The lizard will move with me. Yule mjusi huwa na hama na mimi. So on Tuesday morning. Kwa Jumanne asubuhi. I opened my office. Nikafunga ofisi yangu. First I did not see anything. Kwanza sikuona chochote. I went to, uh, to greet my colleagues in another rooms. Nikaenda kuwasalimia wenzangu coming back in my office. Niliporudi ofisini kwangu. I saw the morning sun spirit dead. Nikamwona roho ya kuchunguza amekufa. Wow. Just next to my chair karibiana karibiana kiti changu then i knew nikatambua case settled kwamba kesi imetatuliwa so i return all the glory to god kwa namshukuru mungu then before that kabla ya hilo last month mwezi uliopita partners service mm. ibada ya wabia i went back home nilirudi nyumbani and uh, I, i went very late i think it was already 11 or quarter 
Nilichelewa nadhani ilikuwa saa 5 au dakika kadhaa kabla saa 5. Nilienda into worship. Present worship. Niliongozwa kuingia katika kusifu na kuabudu. So straight I drop my bag. Kwa nikatoa nikatoa mkoba wangu. I went in the sitting room. Nikaenda sebleni. And I was worshiping. Na nikaa naabudu. And suddenly na ghafla I was instructed to go to my bedroom. Nilielekezwa kwenda chumbani kwangu. On my way to the bedroom. Nilipokuwa nikielekea chumbani kwangu. I met another monitoring spirit. Nikakutana na roho ya kuchunguza. I said, "Oh, okay." Kasema sawa. This is strange. Hii ni ajabu sana. So I told the monitoring spirit. Nikaambia roho ya kuchunguza. Tunamuita tando Kiswahili. Centipede. Kinge, ah, yeah, centipede. Hey, my daughter was right. Binti yangu ilikuwa sahihi. She told me centipede. Okay, centipede. Yes. That one. Tando, tando. So now, kwa sasa, I commanded the centipede. I said, "Listen. Nikamwamuru tando nikamwambia sikiliza. I'm in the presence of the Lord. Niko eponi mwa Bwana. And I don't have time to deal with you." Na sina muda wa kushirika na wewe. I went I grab my 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 bag. Nikaenda nikachukua mkoba wangu. I took a miracle salt. Nikachukua chumvi ya miujiza. I put on top of him. Nikanyonyeza juu yake. I Take my phone I record. Nikachukua simu yangu na record. He was suffering to surrender. Alipokuwa anateseka kwa kuwa maisha yake. to surrender. Alikuwa anateseka kwa kuwa maisha yake. Off for left. Nikaondoka. The time I came back. Nipo rudi. He was dead. Alikuwa amekufa. Wow. Wow. To the miracle sort. Kupitia chumvi ya miujiza. Clap up for Jesus Jamani. Sikia Bwana Yesu makofi. God of this altar what is miracles. Wa madhabahu hii hutenda miujiza. Now my last testament to crown it everything. Shoda yangu ya mwisho. Was the monitoring spirit arrested? Kwa sababu za kushongoza zimekamatwa. It was last month. Ilikuwa mwezi uliopita. No it is this month. For, uh, second of this month. Hapana tarehe mbili ya mwezi huu. I thank God. Namshukuru Mungu for his grace. Kwa neema yake. I graduated. Nimehitimu. I was pursuing my masters in divinity. Nilikuwa ninachukua so, nina shada ya pili katika mafunzo ya Biblia focusing on Christian leadership katika uongozi wa mambo ya Kikristo and that uh, the our graduation ceremony katika mafali was scheduled to be in Arusha ilitakiwa ifanyike Arusha so financially kwa kiuchumi i was very rich nilikuwa tajiri sana I didn't know how I can get to Arusha. Sikujua ningewezaje kufika Arusha. And I didn't want to miss that. Na sikutaka kukosa hayo mafali. It was my, my really great testimony. Ilikuwa ni ushuhuda mkubwa kwangu. So I remember the week before the ceremony. Kwa nakumbuka wiki moja kabla ya hiyo sherehe. It was Thanksgiving service I came in the morning. Ilikuwa ni asubuhi nimekuja bandani. And papa announced that those who want to launch for the light, miracle light. Mtumishi akaita wale ambao walikuwa wanataka kuzindua taa za kinabii. What I had in my pocket. Nilichokuwa mm. nacho mfukoni. It was my bus fare. Ilikuwa oh, yeah, yeah, ni nauli yeah. yangu. Mm. I was hesitating to give it out. But the Holy Spirit gave me a very nice slap. I can you pick a kibao? I just pick a kibao. Give a good slap. Tell your neighbor. Tell Holy Spirit to slap you. Mwambie jira nyoko mwambie rom takatifu akupiga kibao. Uh huh. When Holy Spirit slap you is a good one. Rom takatifu akupiga kibao ni na kwa ni jambo zuri. It's not evil one. Sio sio kibao chaki ovu. Endele ya endele. So I found myself here. Kwa nikajikuta hapa mbele. I pledge the amount. Nikatoa ahadi. Code uh, is equal to my bus fare. Ambayo nilikuwa ninauli yangu. I said, "Okay God, you have to do something." Nikasema sasa Mungu inabidi ufanye kitu. So doing my calculations. Kwa ni pofanya mahesabu. I said, "If I don't give this money today after service." Nikasema sikoitoa hii pesa I will, I will give after zada. coming back from Arusha. Nitafanya nikirudi kutoka Arusha. So after that I decided. Baada hapo nikaamua. I put the money in the envelope. Nikaweka pesa kwenye and I gave one of my beloved sister here. Nikampa dada yangu I said, make sure second service. Nikaambia hakikisha baada ya pili. When it's announced. Ikitanka toa hadi yangu. Is my, my, my now my my money my money for the my miracle light. Pesa ya kukomboa ahadi so ya Tanzania. So baada hapo after that. Then after I travel to Arusha. Baada hapo nikasafiri kwenda Arusha. The first tarehe moja of March. The graduation was on second. No, I travel on thirties. Graduation was on second. Ni safari cha thelathini, maafali yako tarembili. So on first, kote remoja. One of my friends, moja marafiki zangu, called me and asked for me. I said, No, I'm Arusha for the graduation and this and that and that. Akani zeni kama mene kwa Arusha kwa jile maafali. And I said, But you know what? I'm very rich. Ni kama mene juu nini? Mini tajiri sana. Surprising. She sent to me five hundred. Kwa kushangaza akanitumia laki tano. Wow. Wow. Everything was too well. 
God covered everything. Mungu mm. aliweza kunilipia kila kitu. After launching the lights. Baada yes, kuzindua taa ya kinabii. And you launched it when you had no money. Na uliizindua ukiwa yes, huna pesa. You launched yourself into blessing. Ukazindua kwa jiingiza kwenye baraka. Clap hands for this God. He doesn't fail. Mpigie Mungu huyu makofi. He is too faithful to fail. Ni mwaminifu sana hawezi kukushika. Clap hands to God of Christ mandate. Ongeza tena makofi. Clap your hands some more. Shuda zako ziweza kudumu katika jina la Yesu. Your testimony is permanent in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. Ninakutabiria. Receive help where you don't expect it. Pokea msaada pale ambapo utegemei. Receive help where you will not expect it. Pokea msaada pale ambapo utarajii. If you believe it, stand up and shout amen. Kama unaamini simama piga kelele amina. She received help when she didn't expect it. Alipokea msaada pale ambapo hakutarajia. I pray for you. Na kuombea. That shall be your portion. Hilo litakuwa fungu lako. Any time you don't have anything to give. Kila unapokuwa hauna chochote cha kutoa. Give everything you have to God. Toa kila ulichonacho kwa Mungu. Yes. Ndio. When you don't have what to give. Ikiwa hauna cha kutoa. Give everything you have to God. Toa kila ulichonacho kwa Mungu. Then he will not surprise you. Afisa yeye atakushangaza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take your testimony offering. Kwa sadaka yako ya shuhuda. Take your testimony offering. Kwa sadaka yako ya shuhuda. We serve a mighty God. Tunamtumikia Mungu mkuu. But you need to recognize him as your mighty God. Lakini unahitaji kumtambua kama Mungu wako mkuu. We serve a great God. Tunamtumikia Mungu mkuu. But you need to recognize him. Lakini unahitaji kumtambua. Unahitaji kumwamini. Lift up your testimony offering. Inua. Receive your blessings. Shout, I receive. Shout, I receive. Shout, fire. Shout, I am blessed. How many of you have gotten your prophetic light? Wave your hands if you have your prophetic light. You have been hearing the testimonies. Light. Means prosperity. Light means blessings. She said when she heard come and launch. She had no money. She only had her transport. She was hesitating. Along the line. Holy Spirit tapped her. Mungu akamguza. Yes, Roho Mtakatifu akamgusa. Let me borrow her word. Holy Spirit slapped her. Acha nitumie neno lake Roho Mtakatifu akampiga kofi. And she came out. Na akatoka mbele. Not knowing where the money will come from. Kuto bila kujua hiyo pesa itatoka wapi. Lo and behold. Tazama. The money came from where she never expected. Ile pesa ilitokea sehemu ambayo hakutarajia. Aya gabadas. That is how to serve God in truth. And the spirit. She listened to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Next Friday. Is the big night. Is the heavy night. All of us will lift up our lights. We will be lighting everything that has darkness or has darkness in our life. Last Sunday I didn't give opportunity for launching because I didn't hear it. Now I want to give you opportunity. If you have not launched and you want to launch by faith by faith come forward. I want to give you opportunity. You can launch for 200,000 500,000 100,000 even 50,000 come I'm here just to 
open this door for you to step into that blessing and testify. Come. Njoo. It remain a day for us to enter Friday. Nimebakia siku moja tu sisi kuingia Ijumaa. And you have from now to Sunday to redeem it. Na una leo paka Jumapili kukomboa. Come forward. Sogea mbele. Come forward. Sogea mbele. I'm not here to beg. I'm not begging for money. Siko hapa kuomba siombi pesa. I am I'm giving you opportunity to be blessed. Nakupa fursa ya kubarikiwa. Yes. Ndio. Come forward. Sogea mbele. Come forward. Sogea mbele. I'm not re, I'm, I'm not I'm not uh, doing donation no sifanyi ile uchangizi ama harambe hapana this is not donation iso harambe if it do, if it is donation i will be calling 10 million Kama 5 million harambe ningeita no. milioni 10 milioni 5 come hapana. forward sogea mbele i just want you to take a step of faith prophetically nataka uchukue hatua ya imani kinabii prophetically kinabii prophetically kinabii come forward sogea mbele you may be hearing go go. You are hearing another voice don't go. Come and receive it. Come and receive it. Don't block your blessing. And when you come if God tell you 200. Don't change it to 50. Because the devil is good at that. It's true. Nikweli. The devil is good at us exchanging people blessings. Yes. Dio. The devil is very good sana. at exchanging people's blessings. Leave your seats. Come and receive yours. Come and receive yours. Come and receive yours. Come and receive yours. If you have written your name, that is when you receive it from my heart. Don't go yet. You don't know how to own it yet. Uh -huh. Don't launch if you know you cannot redeem. It will become, it will become a cane that the Holy Spirit will use to be caning you at night. Usizindue kama unajua hautakomboa itakuwa fimbo ambayo Roho Mtakatifu atatumia kukuchapa usiku. When you are sleeping. Pia. Ukiwa umelala. Your husband will ask you what is happening to you? Yeah, I don't know who is flogging me. Mme wako anakuuliza nini kinatokea? Unasema sijui nani ananichapa. Don't cause problem for yourself. From now until Sunday. You must redeem it. You have written your name. Uh -huh. You hear today message. Don't make vow. I've written. Shandika. Yes, ma'am. Now look at this a white something under. You just pull it out small until it you see the light. Look at it, whether it's lighted as you're pulling it out. Uh -huh. When you pull it inside. Yes. Don't throw that white away. There is another black switch there when the white is no longer working. Don't, don't, don't do that one. Leave that one. Be using the white one for now. 
Has she written her name? Has she handed her name? I release right light in your life. Na achilia nuru maisha ni mwako. Release light in your life. Na achilia nuru maisha ni mwako. What are you doing? Nafanya nini? Bring it out. Itoe. Eh eh. Put it back. Irudishie. Mhm. Ya on light? Ya kwako imewaka. Okay. Sawa. Lift it up. Let me declare light to your life. Make sure it's lighting. Akisheni kwamba imewaka. Make sure it's on. Akisheni imewaka. I've written your name. Shaandika jina. Mambo mengi. Many things. Okay, her name is not light. Jina lake sio nuru. Okay, I light her name. Naachilia nuru kwenye jina lake. Deliver. Funguliwa. Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Now I light up your marriage. Sasa natia nuru kwenye ndoa yako. Your destiny. Hatima yako. Everything you touch. Kila unachogusa. Let there be light. Acha kuwe na nuru. In all areas of your life. Kwenye maeneo yote ya maisha yako. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Can you take that lady up? Take her up. Mzamka mwinoe binti mwinoe. Put that in at the eh. Uh-huh. Guide that one teacher. Take your own. Take your own. You guide on how to light it. Between now and Sunday, redeem it. Congratulations. See you at Kawe. We will be lighting everywhere together. Go back to your seat. You can get your own. At the resource center there. Do you know how to light it? Najua namna ya kuwasha. Eh eh. Clap for Jesus. Kige bwana Yesu makofi. Get your own. Pata ya kwako. At the resource center. Kwenye idara simali. In a affordable price there. Kwa bei ambayo ni rahisi kumudu. Eh eh. And the Lord will bless you. Na bwana atakubariki. Clap for Jesus. Kige bwana Yesu makofi. Let me pray for the sick. Acha niombe wagonjwa. Today we are here to finalize reversing curses. Leo tuko hapa kumalizia kugeuza laana. On Friday I will prophesy one one. Ijumaa nitatabiri kwa mtu mmoja mmoja. Eh eh. I thought you clap on for Jesus. Ndio nitampigia bwana Yesu makofi. All of you did you hear the testimony? Nyote hapa mmesikia shuhuda? You saw the people God healed? Umeona watu ambao Mungu amewaponya? Do you have faith? Mna imani. Una imani. Do you have faith? Now viewers all over the world. Sasa watazamaji duniani kote. You're not watching me by accident. Au niangalie kwa bahati mbaya. God is faithful. Mungu ni mwaminifu. And as you are connected. Na kama ambavyo umejifunga wewe Distance is not a barrier. Mbali sio kikwazo. Anywhere you are sick. Popote ambapo unaumwa. Receive your healing. Pokea uponyaji wako. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Receive your deliverance. Pokea ufungulivu wako. Receive your testimony. Pokea shuhuda yako. Receive your children. Pokea watoto wako. I command that demon that is tormenting that lady that child that girl out in the name of Jesus receive your blessings receive your answers receive your job receive your finances in Jesus name Amen Amen Toka. I command you to go. Namuru ondoke. You face your skin problem. Weta tizo langozi ya usoni. Go, 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 go. Ondoka, ondoka, ondoka. Go, 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 go. Ondoka, ondoka, ondoka. Be healed. Ponyo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Be free. Kuwa huru. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Be healed. Ponyo. No more right knee pain. Hakuna tena maumivu ya goti la mguu wa kulia. Stand up check it is gone. Simama kagua wewe maumivu yameondoka. Check your knee. Kagua goti lako. How are you now? Unajisikiaje? Eh? Fine. Niko sawa. Is your first time here? Ni mara yes. ya kwanza hapa ndio. Night wa Clara. Your name is Clara. You always dream. Wewe unaota. You are eating in the dream. Unakula kwenye ndoto. Eating in the dream. Unakula kwenye ndoto ndio. And 
You are a student. Yes. I see you struggling in your studies. Yes. I see poor performance written on your face. Yes. You got to a point you don't feel like continuing again. Yes. Is it true? Yes. And whenever you are approaching exam, sickness, sickness, sickness. sickness. Yes. Which class are you now? From five. From five. From five, yeah. lift up your hands. Inuaju mikono. Lift up your hands. Inuaju mikono. Inuaju. Inuaju mikono yako. Lift up your hands. I pray for academic excellence. Na umbe ubora kielimu. And total deliverance upon you. Na fulivu kama milifu juu yako. No more bad dreams. Akuna tena na tumba ya. In Jesus' name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Free. Huru. You will succeed in your academics. Chasta wiko ni elimu yako. Take her up. She's free. Muinu iko huru. Mm -hmm. If you are not a witch, clap out for Jesus. Be free from high blood pressure. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Uh -huh. By the blood of Jesus. Receive complete healing. Stand up on your feet. You are free. You are healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. No more stomach cancer. Drink it. I speak. Evil curse of stomach cancer. Out. From today. No more stomach cancer. Be filled. Out. Stand up your heels. Make sure you come back to testify. Mama, be free from high blood pressure. Be free from body numbness. Stomach ulcer. Fungua mdomo. Open your mouth. Drink it. Meza. Meza. Drink it. Be free from stomach ulcer, high blood pressure, numbness. Be free. Mama, stand up. You are free. You stand up. Check your waist. You are healed. You are healed already. She is healed. She is healed. Bring her. Bring, bring them. She's free. You. 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 Give me this. You are free from coughing, from HIV, in the name of Jesus. Mama, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Meza. Swallow. By the blood of Jesus. I nail HIV at on the cross. By the power of the cross. I nail the HIV. I command total healing. Upon your body. No more loss of appetite. No more difficulty walking. Be free. Be healed. Receive strength. Mama you can walk now. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Tembea. Walk. Tembea. Mama is free. Mama iko uru. She can walk now. Aneza kutembea sasa. Ay, 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 she clap. Pigia makofi, unapo pigia makofi. Anything that is not working. Chechote kili ambacho ya kiendi. In your life. Maisha ni mwako. We start working now. Unapo kufanya kazi sasa. Stand here. Si mama hapa. In your family, a lot of curses. Kwenye familia enu kuna lana nyingi. As I, when I was preaching, you were saying, this is my life. Mm. God is breaking the curses. Mm. Mm. Nobody will die again. Akuna I see sudden death, sir. Naona I see people are dying. Naona watu yes. I see yes. young young people. Naona watu wadogo, wadogo, Even you, you are afraid. Ata we mwenye that you are going to die. Mm. But you will not die. Lakini mm. It's like you lost. It's like there is a brother. I'm seeing a brother that that, that the family lost of recent. Yes. How many children your mother has? Mama, 
Where are they? Wako wapi? Watatu tuko hapa. Mimi na wadogo zangu wawili wawili wako mkoani Moshi. Three are here two at the up countries at Kilimanjaro. I I prophesy. Natabiri. The cause of sudden death in your family. Lana vifo vya ghafla kwenye familia yenu. It's over. Imeisha. I break the curse. Navunja hiyo laana. No more struggle. Hakuna tena mahangaiko. No more sickness. Hakuna tena magonjwa. As is free, you are free. Kama ambavyo yuko huru na wewe uko huru. I can hear amen. Sisikia mina. This lady. Huyu binti. This one stand up. Huyu hapo simama. Stand there. Simama hapo. Stand there. Simama hapo hapo. Your family. Kwenye familia yenu. People are married to snakes. Watu wameolewa na nyoka spiritually Kiroho, not physically that's why marriages are not working marriages are not working yes, anybody that married the marriage will break even you you are not married yes, mm. even the one that tried to come and see your parent they chased him away yes papa Yes. You keep on dreaming snake snake. Oh, na ota nyoka nyoka. Look at me. Niangalie. As I'm praying for her. Na pomombea yeye. I'm praying for everyone. Na mombea kila mtu. Everyone watching me. Kila neni tazama. Everyone that is under the influence of my voice. Kila ambayo yuko chini ya ushawishi wa sauti yangu. I prophesy. Na tabiri. As she is delivered. Kama anavofunguliwa. Be delivered. So you are the snake. Kwa hiyo wewe ndio huyo nyoka. You are the snake. Wewe ndio huyo nyoka. You are married to them. Umewaoa? Yes. For how long? Kwa muda gani? Eh? For how long? Kwa muda gani? A long time. So you are the idols of the family. So you don't want anybody to get married. Yes. Lift up your right hand. Say any any snake. Or animal. That is married to me. Whether through idols. Through the dream. Through sex in the dream. Eating in the dream. Kula kwenye ndoto. As I begin to pray. Nina poanza kuomba. I divorce you. Nina kutariki. I disconnect you. Nina kutenganisha. And I destroy you. Nina kuaribu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Nina makofi na uombe ilo ombi. Divorce that snake. Tariki uyo nyoka. Omba kwa moto. Omba kwa moto. Nyoka yote. Niengiane kwenye ndoa. Iwe kupitia ndoto. Iwe kupitia kula kwenye ndoto. Iwe kupitia kwenye mapenzi kwenye ndoto. Iwe kwa maagano. Na kutariki. Haribiwa kwa moto. 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 Nyoka yote. Kama mizimu. Haribiwa kwa moto. Haribiwa kwa moto. Nyoka yote. Asie taka. Familia ingie kwenye ndoa. Haribiwa kwa moto. Haribiwa kwa moto. Kufa kwa moto. Kufa kwa moto na kutariki kwa moto kwa moto kwa moto kwa moto holy days fire from today kwanzia leo i prophesy natabiri that animal huyo mnyama that lion huyo simba that snake huyo nyoka that fish huyo samaki that crocodile huyo mamba all kinds of animals kila aina ya mnyama that are claiming ownership over you ambao wanadai umiliki juu yako they are dead in the name of jesus wamekufa kwa jina la yesu the lady testified that the monitoring lizard died after i prayed for her yeye binti ashuhudia kwamba ile yule mjusi alikuwa akimchunguza alikufa baada ya kumuombea you will see that animal utamwona wewe mnyama dead both in your dream and in the physical amekufa kwenye ndoto zako na kimwili I command the animal to die. You are free. I release your marriage. Your family. Family. In Jesus' name. Free. Delivered. Delivered. Free. Jesus' name. 
As she is free. Kama ambavyo yuko huru. If you stand up and shout amen. Ukisimama na kupiga kelele amina. You are free. Wewe pia uko huru. You are delivered. Umefunguliwa. You are free. Uko huru. You are delivered. Umefunguliwa. You are free. Uko huru. You are delivered. Umefunguliwa. You are free. Uko huru. The cases are broken. Laana zimevunjika. The cases are broken. Laana zimevunjika. The cases are broken. Laana zimevunjika. Lift up your right hand. Inuaji mkono wa kulia. Say oh Lord. Sema e bwana. Clothe me with a garment of blessings. Nivike vazi la baraka. Hold on. Subiri. Jabez bread. Yabesi aliomba. His name brought a curse upon his life. Yina lake limeti ala ana maisha ni mwaki. The mother named him Jabez because she bought him in pain. Mama kile limeti yabesi kusaba limzako wa maumivu. The guy character. As in the guy life was characterized with pain. I don't know how the curse came. But I came here as a priest to pray for you. I am giving authority by Jesus. By the authority of the word of God. And the power of the cross. Because he said. He blotted. He blotted out the handwriting that was against us. Alifuta ile hati ilo andikwa dhidi yetu. And he nailed it on the cross. Na kagongomea msalabani. I prophesy. Na tabiri. Let that curse be nailed on the cross. Ache olaane gongomea msalabani. Let that curse be nailed on the cross. Ache olaane gongomea msalabani. Shout the loudest, Amen. Kelele amina kubwa. Pray prayers of Jabez upon you. Na kuombea umbi la yabesi juu yako. I pray prayers of Jabez upon you. Na kuombea umbi la yabesi. May the Lord bless you. Bwana kubariki. May the Lord enlarge you. Bwana kutanuwe. May the Lord hands be upon you. Kuna yabwana iwe juu yako. May the Lord protect you. Bwana kulinde. May the Lord fight for you. Bwana kupigani. In the name of Jesus. Baji. Say, oh God of Malachi Joseph. Say, my e mungu wa Malachi Joseph. Oh God of Christ mandate. E mungu wa Christ mandate. Clothe me with the garment of blessings. Nivike vazi la baraka. By the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. By the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. In the order of Jabez. Kama olivom tedea ya besi. Clothe me with the garment of blessings. Nivike vazi la baraka. By the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. In the order of Jabez. Kama olivom tedea ya besi. By the power of the cross. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. In the order of Jebes. Kama olivu mtendea ya besi. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Kwa makofi na uombe ilombi. Rakata palakatansa. Ni vike vazi na baraka. Rete palakatosa. Kama olivu mtendea ya besi. Saparada palada palada. Kwa nguvu ya msalaba. Sapra teke payadasha. Ni vike vazi na baraka. Sapra teke teke te. E mungu wa malakai Joseph. Rada palada 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 palada. Ni vike vazi na baraka. Yama na mana nos. Kama olivu mtendea ya besi Ayada baladosha Kwa nguvu ya msalaba Ayada bayanene nene Nivike vazi la baraka Arata paya gosha Kama olivu mtendea ya besi Urede bela gada baladosha Kwa nguvu ya msalaba Rete payata E mungu wa malakai Joseph Nivike vazi la baraka Rata paladasha Kama olivu mtendea ya besi Rato siprate Nivike vazi la baraka Ekumarados Kwa nguvu ya msalaba Kama olivu mtendea ya besi Ayama nanasha Nivike vazi la baraka Urada galata Kwa nguvu ya msalaba Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba. I prophesy. Na tabiri. The garment. Vazi. The garment of blessings. Vazi la baraka. In the order of Jabez. Kama alivotendewa ya besi. Let it come upon your life. Acha lije kwenye maisha yako. How I wish this amen would sound like thunder. Na tamani ya mina ingesikika kama radi. Let it come upon you. Acha lishuke juu yako. The garment of blessings. Vazi la baraka. Say I do. 
Take away the garment of curses. Take it off, take it off. Different garment of curses. Change it to blessings. Curses of shame. Set back. Delay. Disappointment. Take off. Livue, livue. Roca paya dama. Ilo vazi la laana. Aha. Livue. Shaparatela. Vue ilo vazi. Le 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 la. Vazi la laana. Yamana bos. Livue, livue. Iparados. Livue pamoto. Livue, livue. Take it off. Livue, livue. Take it off. Pamoto. By fire. Livue, livue. Take it off. Pamoto. By fire. Livue, livue. Take it off. 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 Pamoto. By fire. 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 Holy. All the garment of curses are removed out of your life. Zechariah 3, verse 4. And God removed the filthy garment the high priest was wearing. And he told the angel, clothe him with a rich robe. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, take away the filthy garment from him. And unto him he said, behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. Please, the, okay, Give me amplified version on New Living Translation. He said he spoke to those who stood before him, saying, "Remove the filthy garment from him." And he said to Joshua, "See, I have caused your wickedness to be taken away from you, and I will clothe and beautify you." I will clothe and beautify. Aye, your life will be beautiful after now. With rich robes of forgiveness. With rich robes. Kavazi ya tamani nyingi. Zakari ya tatu mstari wa nne. Nae huyo akajibu akawambia wale walo simama mbele yake. Akisema, mvueni nguo hizi zenye uchafu. Kisha akamambia yeye, tazama ni mekuondolea uovu wako. Na ame ni itakuvika mavazi ya tamani nyingi. Say Lord. Say Magwana. Take away the filthy garment. Niondoleva zichafu. Of curses. Lalaana. And beautify my life. Na upendezeshe maisha yangu. With curses. Rich robes Kwa vazi la tamani nyingi Of blessings La baraka With rich robes Kwa mavazi ya tamani nyingi Of blessings and forgiveness Ya baraka na msama Clap your hands and pray that prayer Ya makofi na uombe lo Take away the pity garment of curses Ondo vazi chafu la laana Wickedness Uovu Sins Dambi Out of my life Utoko ya maisha ya Oh Lord E buwana By your mercy Kwa re mazako Clot me Nivike With the rich robes Vazi ya tamani nyingi Pity Decorate my life. Pamba maisha yangu. With rich robe of blessings. Pamba vazi tamani nyingi ya baraka. Wealth. Utajiri. Breakthrough. Mipenyo. Prosperity. Mafanikio. Good health. Afya njema. Shaka balatos. Niviche bwana. Rene melegoda. Vazi la tamani nyingi. Rata paradwa. La baraka. Esaka yada. La ustawi. Yamana nanosh. La utajiri. Hey! La kibali. Maopa, eh buana, kuarema zako, ni vue vazi, kila vazi la uchafu, vazi la lana, vazi la zambi, vazi la magoswa. Gono bimo, gono bimo, gono bimo, that is. Gono bimo, gono bimo, gono bimo, that is. There is more grace. Kuna neema zaidi. There is higher glory. Kuna utukufu wa juu zaidi. No matter your level. Haijalishi kiwango chako. There is more. Kuna zaidi. As for more. Obea kupata zaidi. We are desperate people. We want more, more. 
We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Gonna be more, gonna be more. Gonna be more than this. Gonna be more, gonna be more. Gonna be more than this. Gonna be more, gonna be more. Asha kapata. Akuta paratosa. Let Jacob become Israel. Ata Yakobo Israeli. Let your base. Acha ya besi. Let your base. Acha ya besi. Become blessings. Awe baraka. Let Saul. Acha Sauli. Become Paul. Awe Paulo. Yes. Dio. Let Paul. Acha Paulo. Become Paul. Awe Paulo. Asuka bala dege de bosa. There is a change of garment. Una kubadilisho kwa mavazi. There is a change of garment. Una kubadilisho kwa mavazi. There is a transformation. Kuna mabadiliko. In all areas. Kwenye maeneo yote. Divine wisdom. Hekima ya kiungu. Divine knowledge. Marifa ya kiungu. Fresh grace. Hema mpia. Let Jacob become Israel. Acha Yakobo awe Israeli. Let Abraham become Abraham. Acha Abraham awe Ibrahimu. Let Sarai become Sarah. Acha Sarai awe Sarah. Ayabaka dosa parada. Let Hadassah become Esther. Acha Hadassah awe Esther. Let Hadassah become Esther. Acha Hadassah awe Esther. Let Hadassah become Esther. Acha Hadassah awe Esther. Ay, 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 ay. This is a day of transformation. This is a day of transformation. Cases are broken. Laana zimevunjika. Families are transformed. Familia zinabadilishwa. Ay, 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 ay. Gonna be more, gonna be more. Takwana zaidi. Hashaga bala dege bodos. Gonna be more, gonna be more. Takwana zaidi. Yes. Dio. 
Heavens are open. Bingu zimefunguka. Portals are open. Vilindi vimefunguka. Realms are open. Viwango vimefunguka. I aposhika baladadasa. I see garment of blessings. Naona vazi la baraka. In families. Kwenye familia. And the Lord has written his name upon your forehead. And he say you are mine. He said you belong to him. Gonna be more than this. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna be more, gonna be more, gonna be more than this. Gonna be more, gonna be more, gonna be more than this. In Jesus' name we pray. Kwa china la yesu tumaomba. Lift up your hands. Yanyo adiu mikono yako. Nobody need to tell you that he's here. Hakuna mtu hata itaji kuambia kumba yuko hapa. You can feel it. Unaweza ukaisi. You can feel his presence. Unaweza ukaisi uwepo wake. And I hear. Na nimesikia. That the causes are taken away. Ya kwamba rana zimeondolewa. I can hear your amen. Sisikia mina yako. I want you to take a prophetic offering. Nataka uchukue sadaka yako ya nabii. Of supernatural blessings. Ya baraka za kiungo. Against curses. Vidia laana. Or in the place of curses. Au katika eneo la laana. And new garments. Na vazi jipia. Or robes of riches. Na vazi la thamani nyingi. Take twenty thousand. Chukwa efishirini. He's here. Yupo hapa. Heavily. Heavily. Kauzito. The curse came one day. Rana ilikuja siku moja. And blessing has to come today. Na baraka zinakuja leo. It is only blessing that can reverse the curse. Ni baraka tu zinaweza kugeuza rana. Because curse is opposite of blessings. Kwa sababu rana ni kinyume cha baraka. I don't know what you are going through in your family. Sijajua nini unapitia kwenye familia yako. God said I am changing it. Lakini anasema kwamba amebadilisha. Take it by faith if you are watching us online by chukwa faith. Chukua kwa imani kama unatazama mtandaoni chukua kwa imani. Not by force. Na si kwa lazima. You have 10,000. Everybody stand up on your feet. Kila mtu simama kwa miguu yako kama unaf10. Put it on the altar. Iweke madhabahuni. Today! Leo! The cases are stayed. Laana zimeotolewa. They are revoked permanently. Zimetenguliwa milele. And God is giving you new garment of blessings. Na nakupa vazi la baraka. Like Jabez. Kama Yabes. Yes. Dio. Receive it. Okay. I'll be anointing your forehead too. Da, da kwatia, pako kwenye pajo lako la uso leo. Take the 
5,000. Take that 5,000. Put it on the altar. 
you, you're supposed to direct her. Stand up on your feet. Put your right hand on your forehead. I prophesy. Receive your garment of supernatural blessings. The rich robe. Everything you have lost. Through curses. By the power of the cross. They are restored in seven folds. In Jesus name. Amen. Amina. If you have your title offering, you can come forward with it. I hope you all know that next Monday is Easter Monday communion service for all partners. Natumai mnajua kwamba Jumatatu ijayo ni Jumatatu ya Pasaka ya ibada ya komunio kwa ajili ya wabia wote. Resurrection service for partners. Ibada ya ufufuo kwa ajili ya wabia. For partners. Kwa ajili ya wabia. Lift it up. Inuajua. Father accept their tithes. Baba pokea zaka zao. Open the windows of heaven. Fungua madirisha mbinguni. Bless them. Wabariki. I rebuke poverty. Na kemea umaskini. I rebuke struggle. Na kemea maangaiko. Thank you for reversing every curses in their life. Asante kwa kugeuza kila laana maisha ni mwao. Into blessings. Kuwa baraka. Clothe them with the garment of rich robes. Kwa vike vazi la tamani nyingi. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la yesu. Please, whenever you people are doing that, don't disuse that to distract. Use wisdom. And pastors take notes. Guide your team. You can give your offering. I'll go back to your seats. When you see somebody make a mistake and you are in the position to correct the person, why should you keep quiet? You are part of the mistake when you keep quiet. Okay, ona mtu anakosea na una nafasi ya kwenza kumsaisha kwa nini unyamaze kimia, unakuwa ni semi ya lekosa ukinyamaza kimia. Clap on for Jesus. Kigibwa ni Yesu Makofi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have your pledge, the light pledge. Kama una adi yako ya taa. Mantle pledge, book pledge, TV pledge. You can come forward with it. Clap up for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't forget to bat with your sword. And when you bat with your sword, you continue to thank God and declare blessings, blessings, blessings everywhere. Because the curses are broken. Lift it up. Father, accept their tithe. Open the windows of heaven. I rebuke poverty. I rebuke struggle. And I clothe them with favor. Father, promote them. Prosper the works of their hands. In Jesus' name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. You can give your tithe. Mesa wakatoa. Be reminded next Sunday is the last Sunday of April as in March. Kumbukushwe kwa mba jumapili ndo jumapili ya mwisho wa mwezi wa tatu. In fact, it is Easter Sunday. Ni jumapili ya pasaka. Come for resurrection service. Njoo kwa jile ibada ya ufufuo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap and for Jesus. Pige wa nesu makofi. We will have three services. Tuna ibada tatu. We will have three services. Tutakuwa na ibada tatu. We will have three services. Tutakuwa na ibada tatu. So, Prepare. It's a Sunday of children dedication and adult dedication. I will also be blessing those who have their birthday in the first service. Clap and for Jesus. You can do more better than that. It's Easter communion and thanksgiving service. Hallelujah. Then Monday of it is Resur Easter resurrection communion service for partners. Redeem your partnership. Easter comes once in a year. As a partner, you will be standing on your covenant with God to engage the power of the cross and his resurrection power to walk in your favor. It's also a meek and honey service. It's also a fit washing service. You can't afford to miss it. Because the power of his resurrection will be available to resurrect everything that is dead in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All road lead to Tanganyika Pekka Skyway next tomorrow.
It remained only one day to enter the night of signs and wonders. To enter Enom, the arena of mercy by the power of the cross. Get ready. It's going to be hot. Akuna Kingelio. It's free entrance. Tell those you are inviting. Akuna Kingelio. It's free entrance. Tell them there will be free buses in every side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That there is free entrance doesn't mean it did not cost us anything. The gospel of Christ is free, but the way to preach it is not free. The way to spread it is not free. Somebody asked me, ask me people have been asking, ah, this kind of international program, others people, other people pay. Why your own church they, they don't collect money? What on is a combat program here came at a if I were to engine who and Ali Pisha or to Kanin Kanisaleno or Kusani Opesa? Some pay two hundred thousand to enter some. 20,000, some 100,000, some 50,000. Why are your church not collecting money? I told them, those who are collecting money has a different ministry. It doesn't mean they are wrong. But my own ministry, our own ministry, God have not asked us to collect money. That doesn't mean they are doing wrong things. Because every equipment they are using there is not free. Are you with me? Clap on for Jesus. They are not wrong in their own ministry. Uh -huh. So that you don't criticize why are they collecting money. Don't, don't criticize you. Just thank God. As, as, as simple as that. Are you blessed? If you are blessed, shout yes. If you are blessed, really, 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 and really blessed. Shout, I am blessed. Wonderfully and awesomely blessed. Yes. If today is your first time of worshiping with us, I want to pray for you. Come forward in front of the altar. Please, if you like, talk story. God is a God that gives instruction Mungu ni Mungu and is looking for those who will be obedient. Na Get your light. Pata tayako. Get your mantle. Pata vazilako la kinabi. When you obey instruction, ukiti maelekezo. God will deliver you. Mungu atakufungua. God will bless you. Mungu atakubariki. Who is this one making noise? Why are you making noise here? Why are you making noise here? Why are you making noise here? Why are you making noise should she be given money? Why are you losing things that do not concern you? What is the money for? Why are you losing the money? Why are you losing the money for her? When she gets money, she will torment us. You shouldn't give her money. What's the money for? What's the money for? We don't understand... Which money are you talking about? What were you losing? What were you losing? Okay. Everybody, everybody is now delivered. Don't follow her again. Her money is delivered. Jesus. Free. As she's free, you're free. Shout the loudest amen. Shout it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come early on Friday. The service starts exactly 7 p.m. But if you are there before 7 p.m.
lakini ukiwepo kabla ya saa 1 it will be highly appreciated itakuwa ni vizuri zaidi na utathaminiwa kwa hilo haleluya 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 i had made a promise that I was going to partake in the sharing of the flyer tomorrow niliahidi kwamba nitashiriki kwenye kugawa vipeperushi kesho but because of the program god have changed my program because i need to you know be in prayer lakini Mungu amebadilisha ratiba yangu sababu natakiwa ni kwenye maombi i've been in prayer for quite some time now long time nimekuwa kwenye maombi kwa muda mrefu sasa but the lord said have more time with me lakini bwana amesema kaa zaidi na mimi that that night kwamba usiku huo is a heavy night ni usiku mzito so because of that i may not fulfill that promise of joining you sasa kwa sababu hiyo naweza nitimize ahadi ya kuungana na nyie but definitely me and my god we are with you in the spirit lakini hakika mimi na Mungu wangu tupo na nyie rohoni join that um sharing of the fly and the lord will bless you. Yiunge kwenye hiyo kuga peperushi na bwana atakubariki. We welcome you our first timers. Na wakaribisha wageni wetu. We are very happy to see you. Tumefurahi sana kuwaona. And we love you with the love of God. Tunawapenda kwa pendo la Mungu. All of you stand up on your feet church. Wote simameni kwa miguu yenu kanisa. And lift up your hands. Inua juu mikono yako. Everybody lift up your hands. Kila mtu inua juu mikono. As we say Christ mandate faith confession. Na kusema imani ya Christ mandate. Our first timers look at the screen. Wageni wetu angalieni runinga. Join us to say our faith confession. After the English version. We will say the Swahili version. Everybody want to go. I am Christ's mandate because I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He died for my sins and rose on the third day. He is my Lord, Savior and the Bishop of my soul. I am Christ mandate Kiswahili version Mimi ni mamlaka ya Yesu Kristo kwa sababu naamini kwamba Yesu Kristo ni mwana wa Mungu alikufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zangu na kafufuka siku ya tatu yeye ni bwana wangu mwokozi na askofu wa nafsi yangu Mimi ni mamlaka ya Yesu Kristo wote sema mina kubwa Everyone shout the loudest in Mama lift up your hands. Inuaje mikono mama? Be delivered. Funguliwa. Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Be delivered. Funguliwa. Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Be delivered. Funguliwa. Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Open your hands. Fungua mikono. Open your eyes. Fungueni macho yenu. Open your eyes. Fungueni macho yenu. Look at me. Niangalieni. Look at that sister waving hand. Mwangalie dada anaepunga mikono. Look at that sister there. Mwangalie ni dada pale. Waving hand. Anaepunga mikono. Take your Bible and your bags and follow. Kwa Biblia na begi lako mfuate. Take your Bible and your bags and follow. Biblia na mkoba wako mfuate. Clap up for Jesus Church. Pigie bwana Yesu makofi kabisa. Those of you who made a pledge. Wale ambao mliahidi. To support Enom. Kutegemeza Enom. In the first service on Sunday if you have it you can come forward. Kwenye ibada ya kwanza Jumapili kama unayo sasa hivi unaweza ukaja ukasogea mbele. You can come forward. Unaweza ukasogea mbele. You made a pledge. Kama uliahidi. To support Enom. Kutegemeza Enom. In the first service last Sunday. Kwenye ibada ya kwanza Jumapili iliyopita. Stand up on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Stand up on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Stand up on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Say I cover my blessings with the blood of Jesus. Sema nafunika baraka zangu kwa damu ya Yesu. Cover my deliverance with the blood of Jesus. Nafunika ufungulivu wangu kwa damu ya Yesu. Cover it, cover it, cover it. Funika funika funika. Cover it, cover it, funika funika funika. Cover it, cover it, funika funika funika. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. Stretch forth your hands towards me. Nisha mikono yako kunielekea. In the remaining days of this week. And month. Na mwezi. The Lord will surprise you suddenly. Bwana atakushangaza ghafla. Sudden good news shall follow you. Habari njema za ghafla zitakufuata. Sudden testimony shall follow you. Shuhuda za ghafla zitakufuata. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. Put your two hands on your head. Say blessings upon blessings upon blessings on my head. Sema baraka juu ya baraka juu ya baraka kichwani kwangu. My hands. Mikononi mwangu. And my feet. Na miguuni kwangu. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings on my head. Baraka juu ya baraka juu ya baraka kichwani kwangu. My hands. Mikononi mwangu. And my feet. Na miguuni kwangu. Three times one to go. Acha tu muda bichiende. of mercy 
is back. Christ Mandate Empower Ministries International and the Jesus Servant Malachi Joseph present Night of Praise, Night of Worshipping the Almighty God, Night of Victory of signs and wonder. Jesus servant Malachi Joseph will take you to the next level through the word of God. Accurate prophecy, signs, miracles and wonders is on 29th of March 2024 at Tanganyika playground. Time is from 7 p.m. to dawn. Gospel minister, Nema Gospel Choir at Cafe Gospel Band. Joel Luaga, John Lis, Amwene Masongwe, Sorabo, Bela Kombo, Martha Moipaji, Smart Boy, Venus Malakai, and Christ Manet Boys. It's the night we come together and experience the real presence of God. Don't miss. Eno 2024. Usiko Kimataifa wa Tena. Christ Mandate and Power Ministries International. Chini ya mtumishwa Yesu Malakai Joseph. Wana kuletea. Usiko wa sifa. Usiko kumabudu mungu alehai. Usiko ushindi. Usiko wa shara na maajabu. Tumishwa Yesu Malakai Joseph. Ata kuchukua kiwango kingine. Kupitia neno wa mungu. Unabitha biti. Ishara. Maajabu na miujiza. Nitarehe 29 ya mwezi wa tatu. F2 na nne. Karika biwanja vatanga ni kapeka skawe. Muda ni kuanzia samoja. Jioni na kuendelea Waimbaji wa nyimbo za injiri ni pamoja na Nema Gospel Choir Agape Gospel Band Funua Gospel Choir Joel Luaga John Lis Amwene Masongwe Sorabo Bela Kombo Martha Moipaja Smart Boy Venus Malakai na Christ Mandate Boys Ni usiko tunaokutana pamoja Ili kufurahia uwepo wa mungu Usikose God, hallelujah. End of 2024 is here. It will be happening on the 29th of March 2024. From 7 p.m. till dawn. By the way, my name is Jesus Saman Malakai Joseph. I want to invite you, your family, your friends, your loved ones, everyone around you. Kawes Dar es Salaam is a moment where we pray for mercy. It's on that Good Friday that we gather to plead for mercy for God to heal nations, heal our land, mercy upon the body of Christ, mercy upon our families, individuals, our business, our children, husband and wife. Join us that night. We will have anointed gospel ministers that will be bringing down the glory of God. It will be heaven on earth. All that gospel ministers like Amwe Masowe, John Lisu, Joel Luaka, Neva Gospel Choir, and other anointed gospel ministers. You can't afford to be seated. It's a moment of power when mercy speaks, judgment is cancelled. Join us as you. The mercy of God will be bringing down healing, deliverance, signs and wonders, testimonies, miracles, breakthrough. Join us and your life will not remain the same. If you are coming from outside Tanzania, begin to call the contact written on your screen and begin to make preparation because it's a night you can't forget in the heart. You are alive will be transformed by this. You will also come with a prophetic light, prophetic stick light. We will be lighting up our families, nations, the body of Christ, our business, our health, ministry, children, husband, wife, and everything that needs to be lighted. Because when light speaks, darkness will remain silent. Because light triumphs over the darkness. As we lift it up that night, our everything that has to do with us will be lighted. Get the light in Christ's mandate. Church headquarter. Join us on that night, 29th of March 
2024. From 7 p.m. till dawn. Join us. Our life will not remain the same. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. I want to use this opportunity to invite all our faithful partners from across the globe to our partnership service that will be taking place Monday 1st of April. It is our Abrahamic covenant service. Season 3 for 2024. Join us and your life will be sweet like honey and will be peaceful like milk. The Lord told the children of Israel in fact he had a covenant with Abraham to take him and his descendant to the land filled with is a place of peace, prosperity, is a place of victory, is a place of long life, is a place of good health, is a place of greatness. So, as you join us in that service, as you redeem your partnership, your life will experience unusual peace, greatness, prosperity, good health, favor, blessing. Just like now, we have started the construction of Christ's Monday Church. I'm telling you, the Lord will construct everything that needs to be reconstructed. In your life, whatever that I've scattered, the Lord will gather it together. Whatever that I've lost, the Lord will recover it and restore you in sevenfold. As a partner, you have a covenant with God. Just like a husband and wife call themselves partner. It means they are one. If God is faithful, you are one with favor. If God is blessing, you are one with blessing. If God is prosperity, you are one with prosperity. Great in your partnership. And you will never regret it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There will be feet washing. Feet washing is another prophetic mystery. Where God will be washing away your trouble. When Jesus washed his disciples' feet, they ask him a question why are you washing our feet? He said, What I'm doing now, you will not know. But you will know later. It means after the feet washing, they will experience. The glory of God, the blessings of God. Come, let's wash away that trouble. A lot of you have been swimming in the ocean of problems, in the ocean of curses, disappointment, delay. As your feet will be washed, God will take you to new seasons. Newness, blessings, and testimonies. Redeem your partnership. Like I said, to be on the first of April 2024. See you then. God bless you. International <laughs> Nijumatatu ya kwanza ya kiki na mwezi Kwanzia sakumi na moja kamili jioni na kuendelea Usipange kukosa Abrahami Covenant Milk and Honey is back From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet Kwanzia utosu wa kicho mpaka unyayo wa megu yako By the power in the milk and honey Kwa guvi loko nanya maziwa na asari Through the name of Jesus Kwa guvi ya jina la Yesu You are here The power you are You are free Shut I am here. I am free.
Shalom shalom tunamshukuru Mungu kwa jeu ibada nzuri naomba tupate kusikiliza tangazo Christ Mandit TV Transforming Lives Nations and the World Christ Mandit TV Transforming Lives Nations and the World Christ Mandit TV transforming lives nations and the world Christ 